Hello, hello. Warriors. Welcome. Jack. Gramps. I see you. I see you both. How are y'all doing? I know Gramps is doing well, but how are you doing, Jack? I just saw your message on Discord, but I'm not too sure if that's still the case now, but, uh... Let me know. I just logged into Discord, so I just saw it. And yeah, as you guys were saying earlier, Lightfall music. Some of the best, some of the best. Gotta admit. Gotta give it to Destiny 2, man. While many of us will complain about the game and its weird moments, the music in this game slaps. Ellie! Ellie, Ellie! Good time zone! I today made the mistake of uninstalling Destiny and starting to reinstall. Oh my goodness, that's unfortunate, man. What what led you to that circumstance? What what provoked that that action to happen in the first place? Eighty percent? No worries, no worries. Oh yeah, what what led you to that moment? Oi, 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 oi. DSC music is still some of your favorite, especially the final boss theme, and of course lullaby. Yeah, I gotta give DSC credit too. DSC's got some really great tunes. Very fitting for the mission too. Gotta give it credit, man. Uh, I did that because I thought something was wrong with your console, but it was just a downtime. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you can come back in and uh, play the game, you should be good. Reminds me a lot of the Bangers Helldivers tunes also. So Helldivers got some... Uh, got some bangers in there? Interesting. What, what's the theme though? Like, is it mostly like, rock oriented or... I'm, I'm thinking like 90s because of Starship Troopers, but like, what are the, what are the vibes? Well, at least next time now, Jack, you'll know if something's if something's down, don't uninstall. <laughs> Maybe just give it some time. A little bit of patience will always be uh, your best friend there. I like the older orchestral, orchestral style music. Things seem much more electronic and fuse these days. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. A lot of a lot of. Electronic music is is very very rampant now. It's becoming more of the norm It's like rock orchestral there's heavy drums and stuff, but a big focus on the brass and strings. Ooh, I like that Yeah, EDM is becoming more and more prevalent nowadays I mean there was a there was a time when EDM was like all over the place with Skrillex and whatever you call them the Skrillex era, but nowadays it's uh things are a bit more tame, but nevertheless there's still a lot of electronic music out there. Not much not much of the instrumental stuff. Orchestral stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Ellie. Yeah. EDM is is all around far too much. More than what I can handle at times. I'm personally just a big fan of the slow, you know, the slow chill music, like jazz. But jazz, jazz has, jazz has definitely seen its its better days. I'd say, I think the '90s were more of a jazz thing. Nowadays, it's uh, not much jazz is around us, sadly. I've always been a fan of electronic music. I'm just sad to see some of the orchestral stuff starting to phase out. I know, right? There was a time, there was a time when things like, you know, classical music was, was the norm. And as I mentioned earlier, jazz music was 
was great back in the 90s. You had a lot of great artists back then. Many of whom still perform to this day, but not to the extent that they did in the 90s. I'm going to do the solo jack for now. I'm going to run this solo, brother. I want to have some me time for now. When I'm ready, I'll get the BC open, brother. Not a problem. That's when I get myself into the swing of performance today. <laughs> Not to worry. We'll get that BC open eventually. Uh, jazz mixes well with electronic, in my opinion. All the synths and funk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually... There's a, a lot of retro wave stuff I listen to. And they use a lot of jazz-infused themes, like saxophones. And I don't know if you've heard of this one one electronic group or retro wave group. They're called uh, The Midnight. One of my all-time favorite groups. They infuse a lot of jazz with the saxophone and... Just everything is just so well put together. It's amazing. Highly recommend listening to them if you haven't. I would, I would, I would honestly play them on stream, but DMCA would just come after me all over again. So. <laughs> yeah, I got to get in the groove. Exactly. I got to get in the groove, man. Got to do my morning warm ups. Just like going to the gym, you know? Got to do your morning reps. And then once your reps are done, then you can do what you gotta do. And this is kind of a good warm-up too, because there's not really much else to do other than shoot. That's good. I remember my years in college and all the different modern jazz groups I was exposed to. Lots of it too musically... Lots of it is too musically intellectual for you. <laughs> Jazz kept ticking forward. It's a general mass that stopped keeping up with it. Very, very true. That is very true. A lot of the the masses have just kind of centered themselves around whatever is trendy, you know, the the top 100 billboard charts and all the other stuff, you know, the pop music, which pop music has always been very like at, at, at the core of all music. It's always been at the center, it's like the center full of most music on the radio and what you see on television back you know way back into like the mtv days too but i'm very much i'm very much uh, a supporter of yeah the good old classic classical music and jazz music and all that stuff yeah it's just, yeah exactly consumer society you know whatever whatever is the in thing right now that's what people just thrive for and so a lot of the a lot of the, the great stuff is overlooked, oftentimes ignored. Only until someone out there releases some banger and then everyone all of a sudden is like, oh yeah, you know what? I listen to jazz music. I'm like, no, you don't. Uh, which one? The the new music one? I was about to get to reading that. Uh, there's still new music festivals in Europe. One of my professors was very passionate about the recent history of music and the ways people are still trying to push the envelope forward. I would agree on that, though. I would certainly agree on the on that. You know, there are artists out there who are really trying to infuse a lot of the old classical themes of what music really used to be. You know, about the instruments, not about like you know, auto tune. Not that auto tune is bad, but a lot of artists are definitely trying to go back to those days where music was really about that natural flow of chords and going back to the keys and all the good stuff. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, most marketable music these days exactly is like the pop music and all the other stuff. Which, again, is unfortunate. That's, that's, that's how these music companies work. They, they just, they push out what they know is going to work, you know? 
And if they know that something won't work, they just won't push it out. So jazz music or whatever. Most most big companies like Interscope and Sony, and they'll they'll likely push out all those pop brands. And again, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to you know uh, poop on the pop the pop artists. You know, pop obviously is an influential genre in, in itself, but I think we've just seen far too much pop and electronic stuff uh, far too frequently. And we just lose out on the the true beauty of what music is all about, the versatility, the diversity. I'm a fan of mixing it all up and being inspired by different genres, but I miss having more orchestral tracks and being developed for games and stuff. Yeah, exactly. You know, this is this is why I I still love to this day, like uh, John Williams and his orchestra, his orchestra is just amazing. You know, Star Wars and Indiana Jones, like a lot of these old throwback films are just great examples of great music. And then even things like Elden Ring uh, has some pretty good, you know, orchestral sounds in there. Final Fantasy at times throws it in there. Or like battle themes. But I, I definitely feel like we need that that powerful orchestral sound because it's what really it, it's what really creates the emotion in the music. It creates the emotion in the game too. <laughs> There's so much heavy on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> There's so much heavy compared to the special. There's purple and green everywhere. It's like candy. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Ellie. Yep. Pirates of the Caribbean, amazing. Lord of the Rings, amazing. Two Towers had some amazing music. Some of the best battle music I've heard uh, in years. Outside of Star Wars, of course. <laughs> but yeah, Lord of the Rings, amazing. Truly amazing. Uh, how long have I been do doing this encounter? Uh, so I just I started about. 10 minutes before the stream started. So, let's say about 20 minutes now. 20, 25 minutes roughly. So within that 25 period, uh, how much have I completed within 25 minutes? Uh, within 25 minutes, I'm almost done. Or no, wait, sorry. Yeah, within 25 minutes, I'm almost finished the Midnight Coup. And I still have a bit to go with uh, the mountaintop, but Midnight Coup's almost done. So in, un in under half an hour, I'm pretty much done with this Midnight Coup one. Yeah, yeah, it's heavy ammo finder for sure. Yeah, yeah, Ellie, the 2000s had some of the greatest orchestral music as far as movies are concerned. I'm trying to think of some good examples outside of the ones that we've already mentioned. I can't remember if Tomb Raider had... I can't remember if Tomb Raider had some uh, music in there. The movie with, uh, what's her name, Angela Jolie. I can't remember if that had any orchestral music in it. I'm trying to think of movies from the 2000s that were really centered around orchestral themes. Like very battle focused. I can't remember if 300 had it. No, I don't think 300 had anything. I don't think I don't think 300 did. <laughs> you should have a GL equipped too. New pulls out a GL and pops off. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know what? I can just do two birds to one stone, right? Makes it easier. <laughs> Two birds, one stone, and then I can get both missions done at the same time. <laughs> slowly, slowly erases messages. <laughs> Fighting lion might be good for getting the mountaintop quest done. That that's a, a breach one too, right? Because it has to be a breach loading one. So that's why I'm just using um, 
just using undercurrent for now since it's like the one I currently have. Oh yeah, Phantom Menace, of course. I mean, everything Star Wars in the 2000s is is within that that realm of orchestral mastery. <laughs> Anything Star Wars to me, I'll always mention that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, Phantom Menace arguably has the best, the best battle music. Duel of the Fates is hands down my all-time favorite. I mean, you guys have heard me sing it so many times on stream. Whenever I pop my super with arc you know that that song is just amazing and when you watch the actual fight scene with Darth Maul and Obi-Wan and, and Qui-Gon Jinn just battling out amazing some of the best orchestral work and not only orchestral but also just choreography like amazing Phantom Menace is, while not everyone would deem it to be a favorite in the Star Wars franchise movie wise Battle-wise and music-wise, that's got to be like up there with like Empire Strikes Back and even like A New Hope. Oh yeah, Duel of Fates is whew, that that song is gives me goosebumps to this day still. Every time I hear it, so good. Oh, it is a breach in his primary. Okay. Yeah, I just I just had undercurrent uh, equipped, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna use this for now since I'm already here. Didn't really think about any other GLs at the time. <laughs> My brain was just like, you know what, let me just get this done within half an hour. Yeah, midnight ride's done now. <laughs> just like that, midnight ride's finished. That's one quest done. Now I can just focus on this one. So within like half, within like under half an hour, I got one of them done. And if I, if I focus more, I can get this done in like maybe under 40 minutes. Because now I have more than enough special ammo to run around with. Oh, it, Gramps, yes. Gramps, absolutely. He, he literally has the Midas touch. John Williams has the Midas touch when it comes to orchestral mastery. He is... He is a blessing to this world. And the funny part is, he's in his 90s and he's still making a, a incredible music, which is, like, dare I say it, unheard of. But, I mean, when you're when you're so good at something, it doesn't matter how, well, it doesn't matter what age you are. If you're a master of something, you are a master. <laughs> he is like the Jedi of or or orchestral music. <laughs> like, actually insane. Not many, not many composers can truly say that they've lasted as long and have left a legacy as long as John Williams has. Absolute masterclass of a composer. That's something I haven't heard touched on about the prequels. They went so hard in the choreo my God, I can't even speak. choreography of the fights, almost night and day compared to what they did in the original series. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The choreography in a lot of the prequel stuff was really well made. Like, so, so well made. And that's why the prequels are still some of my favorites. They might not be for everybody, but I still like the, the prequel Star Wars. I mean, I love all Star Wars. Like, I, I can't even lie. <laughs> but the fights, the fights in these prequels, man, some of the greatest. I think it was Ray Park who choreo uh, he did the choreography for Darth Maul in uh, Phantom Menace, and man, is it the Volt Shot kills killing the progress? Hold on, let me see. Uh, cause we're at forty-two. We're not doing too bad. We're almost halfway. Would would the volt shots be killing the progress? 
But I, f I thought that maybe it wouldn't affect it. Interfere with it, rather. Uh, I mean, I do have... What else do I have? I have Midnight, or I have uh, Militia's Birthright. But that's... Oh, well, you know, I'll use like waveframe again. But you did say fighting lion or something. Do I even have that? I don't think I have it on me. No, I don't even have it on me. I'd have to probably. Wait, do I have it? No, I have Lord of Wolves, Dead Messenger. Yeah, I don't think I have it now. I think I deleted it. I don't I never used it so I just got rid of it to free up my my dim space wither horde oh true I wither I gotta find it though where's my wither horde uh don't tell me I deleted that too no way I would never delete wither horde all right here we go yeah, I can use wither actually for this one Uh, so I'll swap off because now I'm done with now I'm done with that so I can just do this and that and I just gotta grab my special ammo which I have all over the place <laughs> I have all these bricks so I'll never run out right, let's see what we can do with the other board. I don't know if it was actually interfering. This doesn't seem like it was having a problem. Alright, give me one second. I'm gonna open up my chat box again. I just forgot to alt tab the chat boxes in. There we go. Yeah, I'm totally with you on that though, Ellie, as far as you know, orchestral and choreography. But going back to the the orchestral part, I'm still trying to think of of movies from the 2000s that really took advantage of really powerful orchestral sounds outside of the ones that we've already spoken of. And John Williams is in a league of his own, so that's already a given. But I'm trying to think of other composers or at least music or movies rather that that had really great composing. Uh, Uh, was Gladiator? No, I don't think Gladiator was 2000s, was it? Can't remember if Gladiator was 2000s. But I don't think that had any orchestral music in it. Like anything that anything that comes with a battle, like some sort of Gladiator or some sort of like really powerful battle scenes, I'm trying to think of that. Oh, I might have to pop up Google at some point. <laughs> Google's gonna be my best friend right now because I can't think of any significant 2000s films that really stood out to me as having great music uh, orchestral-wise. Oh, maybe Fifth Element, but Fifth Element only had like a couple good songs in there. I wouldn't say it was the whole movie, but there were some. There were certainly some moments in uh, Fifth Element that had some good orchestral music but that was more like 90s uh you need to get rapid kills so you don't really want to kill them one by one so then wouldn't the bull shot still work then is that because if i wanted the rapid kills wouldn't that wouldn't that have still have worked That's why I just went with uh, the undercurrent because I figured I figured that the uh, undercurrent because of the multi rapid kills with the wave frame would have been fine. I have no more ammo now. All these purple ones and not one single not one single where are the green blocks
Give me green. Jolt is a status effect applied by it. Hmm. Cause I always thought that if I'm just if I'm just hitting them with the wave frame, that should still be able to count because I mean I'm I'm already at 42% because of it, right? So I, I assume that it was totally fine. Yo, Ender! Good to see ya. How are things today? Things are going pretty good. Monday. Beautiful Monday for me. Another start to the work week. Well, it's not really work for me. <laughs> There's another start to the week. All I gotta say. How are you doing? As long as the wave kills them and not the explosion, you should be fine. Okay. And I can probably just continue doing the wave itself. Or the, uh, the undercurrent. But I'll keep working with Wither Horde for now. Oops. I got that out of my sword equipped. I'm good, man. Been real busy lately, but I'm a happy camper. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of camping, man, I, that that photo you you showed off in the in Discord was, was amazing. Gotta say that. I love I love views like that. Anytime someone takes photos of that type of uh, that manner, I'm always I'm always in there. So I'm glad I'm glad to hear that you're happy. As long as you're happy, that's what matters the most. Yeah, I'm probably going to swap between them. See what I can try and come up with here. Oh my gosh. It's fine, I'll just die here. It's no big deal. Yo, Andrew. How you doing, man? Did it in 10 minutes at Shirochi. Sunshot for hand cannon. Oh, you're talking about the mountaintop one? Or sorry, the uh, Midnight Coup. Uh, cut, cause shoot a shot with undercurrent, then swap back to wither. Oh, that, that's, that's actually kind of fair. Yeah, I can tell you love being there, man. I would love being there too. <laughs> I'm a nature boy, so I love, I love seeing that type of stuff. And right now I'm just farming for the quests, so I can get... I can start doing the onslaught farming. For the mountaintop, and for the midnight coup, cause those are the two new weapons for the week as per the reset, so I want to be farming for those, especially Mountaintop, because I really want to get that GL. And then once that's done, uh, I'm going to be focusing on doing more Onslaught runs today. Bring my green bricks. That's all I want. Alright, just at me. Yo, to hear in! Good to see ya, good to see ya. Wither Horde for GL. Yeah, most people are saying um, Wither Horde. Well, I got both equipped, so... Hmm. But yeah, once this is done, I'm gonna hop into Onslaught, and uh, I know Jack has already saved a spot for himself, so whoever wants to join us for a third, just uh, let me know. Because I'm gonna run, I might do a one one normal run. Um, I was doing some testing last night with, uh, with a build. Still arc builds, but just uh, different gun loadouts, and it worked effectively in uh, a few of my test runs. So I'm gonna try it out today and see how it works out. Uh, by the way, Lightfall Breakneck Mission has a rune that is almost just as good as Shirochi, and the checkpoint doesn't reset. Which one is that? Which rune is that one? I have to go back and, and actually uh, 
check that spot out. Because last night I was actually doing a lot of Lightfall stuff on the campaign. Finally got it done Legendary mode. Finally. So I can finally say I'm finished that. Now I just need to do the weeklies. Which I should probably do this week. To get at least one of them done. I tried doing it yesterday and then... Weapon... Team team just didn't get 100k. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, man? I'm not here. I didn't want to do it again. Oh, Ender, if you if you want to hop in with me and Jack, then let's do it. Like you've you've already asked, so might as well. By all means. Hop in with me and Jack when I'm done with this, and we should be good. Yo, Gagman, my brother. How are you? How are you? Also, the rally flag doesn't cost you raid banners. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, perhaps showing me like, uh, maybe after the stream is done or maybe later on in the stream. Because today I got, I got some plans. I got some onslaught plans today. I gotta be farming for that mountain top. And I need some midnight coup rolls. Uh, can I save my spot for two hours ish from now? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, if it's two hours then, by all means. Then if who else wants to run onslaught? For the time being, for the two hour time slot. I guess Ender, Ender is one of them. Anyone else want to jump in with me and Ender then? Uh, Tahirin, I guess, if you wanted to. Since you did mention you wanted to show me something, I guess now would be a good time. So great to see everybody come through. All right, what are we at now? We are at... 63%. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Because I got a 30 minute... I got a thing in 30 minutes that... That last one and a half hours, that's totally fine, man. It's no worries. I'm glad you're... I'm glad you're keeping me up to date. That's what I... That's what I appreciate about you, man. You're, you're always... Very attentive to time, and I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. So thank you for letting me know that. Oh, no, of course, of course. Yeah, the, the slot will be open for you, not to worry. Not to worry, man, not to worry. We have all week, of course, too, so... You know, this is going to be the week of me farming for the god rolls for both Mountaintop and for Midnight Coup, so... No, no big stress. We're all good. We're all good. Oh, yeah. Communication definitely is key, man. That's one of the things I always try to... I always try to endorse that on stream. Like, I, I, I really appreciate the communication. It really means a lot. It keeps, it keeps me... It keeps me informed as to what's going on. Rather than kind of having, you know, no updates, I'd rather... The updates, then nothing at all. But I got, I got my things to take care of as well. Like I try to keep things organized, so I appreciate that. So when I'm done this, uh, Ender to Hiran again. If you want to come into Hiran, let me know. By all means, we can we can run that uh, onslaught together. Cause I know you wanted to run it together before, so now it'd be an opportunity to. to Come through with Ender. Oh, Ender has the opportunity because I haven't played with Ender in a long time, man. I think the last time me and Ender played together was like PvP or something. <laughs> and then Ender had to get going, so this is uh, an opportunity that I cannot miss. It has been a minute, absolutely, man. It has been... It's been a good while. 
And I love I love having Ender up and on. Always a good time. And now that I know you're a nature boy like me, man. All the better. <laughs> All the better. But man, listening to this music that Destiny has created is just so, so good, man. I love hearing the... I, I, what, what would you call them? Like the, the, the women who, who kind of give off that opera sound. Like I know it's opera, but like in a battle theme type of environment. I don't know what... Is there a specific term to call them? Because Destiny has like a lot of those moments where like you hear the, the females... The female voices come in and they just they just pop off. All right, so no more heavies, huh? I mean, no more specials. Let's delete all this stuff. Okay, good. Postmaster. Let's get over there. Crazy how it's dropping me more heavies now. <laughs> Before it was dropping me more specials. Now I'm getting heavies every single time. Oh, you're getting dealt. Oh! <laughs> it's the Morty Flare. <laughs> Valkyrie? Is that what they're called? You may be right, Gramps. You may be right. Whenever I hear those voices, they... they are, like, angelic. Like, I love hearing them in the music. In any orchestral composition, those women who, who like, really bring that energy, especially when you, like, you hit the apex of the battle sequence and you're the... Like, you know, it's... <laughs> I can't do it myself, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. There are just some moments where goosebumps are just all over my skin because it just hits you. Can I actually get some special, man? Corals? Valkyrie? Corals? I'm, I'm not too sure now. They both sound very similar, I guess. In the cave we go. Anymore? All right, you're out of there. Damn. Purples, purples, purples. It's candy all over the floor. Can't even eat them. <laughs> Come on. Got me something good. I'll die here for now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle hymns, probably. Battle hymns, aria, but if you're referring to the performers, just the choir or a woman's choir, not sure anything else is ringing a bell. But I got an instrumental, in, instrumental degree, not a vocal one. <laughs> I think I think you guys are onto something though. You like this? This. This type of stuff? The timing couldn't have been perfect there. Like, that's the voice I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, it could be the women's choir. It could be like a mixture of them. <laughs> just a soprano going ham. <laughs> that's likely the case too. Because I'm just like, man, that's just... Anytime I hear that, man, I just... I go off. Sounds like opera almost. 
I guess it's just a combination of different elements. Because I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure you're not all wrong. Like I'm sure everything you've pointed out is probably very correct, with like you know battle hymns and the opera and the sopranos. Yeah, very operatic. Yeah, yeah, definitely has an opera feel to it. All right, ops. Yeah, no problem then. All right, let me um. Let me just try and wrap this up a little bit. How much more am I at now? How close am I is a question. We are at uh, 82%. Okay. Give me like a little bit more time to hear in. And I'll open the uh, the VC up and then I'll get Ender in here as well. So we can get prepped up for uh, Onslaught. Lots of vibrato in the performed vocal texture. Yep, yep. I'm definitely hearing the vibrato. I'm just like you though, Ellie. As much as I... I enjoy music, I would say most of my, my understanding comes in the form of... The instruments more than the vocal stuff. Like, I understand the falsettos and the sopranos and all that stuff. Because, you know, I, I, my music tastes have been there for a while. My experience has been there for a while. Because I, I used to take singing classes back when I was, like, maybe early college days. But I can't remember anything anymore because it was so, so early on. And I didn't really take it that seriously. Wow, no. Don't tell me... <laughs> That punch whiffed over that zombie's head. Or the hive's head, sorry. Oh. Alright, this, this vibe is giving me very parts of the Caribbean right now. This song is very Pirates of the Caribbean inspired. I can just hear it. From the rhythm and the chords. And here we go. Back to the the women the women's choir here. I just the, the build up. The build up is what I love. The build up, their voices go from like very low and kind of um I'm trying to think of the word. I can't think of the right word now. But it's like it's like a very very nice build up from like a low tone to this very high high octane explosive pitch. Uh, Valkyrie is actually in Norse mythology any of a group of maidens who served the god Odin and were sent by him to the battlefield to choose the slain who were worthy of a place in Valhalla. So not really right although they are female warriors. Ah uh, okay, I see what you're saying. So from but a, from from a musical standpoint though is Valkyrie the right term? I'm guessing battle-wise, Valkyries make the most sense, yeah. Come here. Thank you. <laughs> a few more. Ooh, that should be a that should be a good one. Walk into the walk into the mud. Walk into the mud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I can never get my breathing right for singing for wind instruments. As a percussionist, it's a weak point. Yeah, you need a lot of lung power for singing, and it's actually stomach or gut, because you got to really exercise the gut to get the most out of your your tone when you're singing. Of course, throat, throat exercises are, you know, are optimal. But a lot of that comes from your stomach. Like, when I watch Whitney Houston perform, like, man, she is a... a holy moly. When I hear Whitney Houston sing, her, her vocal range is ridiculous. Rest in power to Whitney Houston, though. 
amazing talent. And one of the, one of our generation's most pivotal artists. Her voice was literally like a goddess whenever she would sing. The progression from the low vocal range upwards adds a great movement. Yes, exactly my point. Yes. Yeah, the anticipation. Exactly. That's probably the word I was looking for. The anticipation, the build up. It really gets you into the, the, the moment. Like right here, you can hear that. The apex. You know, it started out very low. The emotional draw was... Like you, you knew something was coming. And then once they hit the apex of the, the notes, it's just like, man. Explosive. And I can talk all day about this stuff. I just... Music is... Music hits different. <laughs> music hits different. Okay, give me one second. It should be finished very soon. Uh, what are we at now? 96. Okay, we're at 96. And then once this is done... I'm gonna get to hearing an Ellie, not Ellie, sorry, Ender on the mic. So thank you folks for waiting. Appreciate your patience. Just wanna make sure I have all this done. So when it comes to farming, I got the old McDonald's hat on. And I was gonna sing E I E I O all day. All those gold orbs. All those gold engrams. Come out of the cave! Come out! Where are you? Have to reset the, uh, the spawn. There we go. Done. Done and done. See ya. It was nice knowing you guys. So I got this done in what? Like half an hour? Maybe a little under half an hour? We're out of here. Alright. Ender, Tahirin, come through. Uh, honestly, I don't know if there's anything I'm missing out. Oh, I'm just talking to Happy real fast. Give me one sec. Uh, let's see. We can jump into dungeons since it's going to be. No, uh, what's it called? Yeah, let's jump into dungeons since it's pretty much like a dungeon in a sense. And it's the one thing that has uh, three peeps in there. I'll mute for now until y'all are ready. Alright, so in the meantime, while uh, Tahirin and Ender get ready, I'm gonna just go here and get this stuff done. And that way I can start farming. And I'm gonna start attuning. I must attune! Alright, one sec. I'm just on mute, so I gotta. That Ender? Yes, it is. Ender! Hey, dude. What's up, man? Doing pretty good, my brother. How are you? Doing swell. Awesome. Mm. Awesome, awesome. Pleasure to hear that. Doing this stuff today. Onslaught? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. I'm ready. Do you have any builds that you've come up with, or...? 
I've just been having fun with the tether build so far. You know what? I was That's a little perfect. bit envious of uh, Ellie's idea about using clones, but I haven't actually taken the time to make a clone build yet. <laughs> the clone build definitely was was popping yesterday. I think Ellie used it for a while, and then eventually Ellie decided, you know what? Go back to the the tried and true, <laughs> and it worked out better. Actually, the tether worked out better long term. Yeah, tether is just so nice. <laughs> yeah, super super good for just. Ad clearing and just keeping things together and organized. Did you guys do a legend one? Yes, we did. Yeah, we definitely did a legend one. Oh, very nice. Yeah, we didn't clear it though. What did you do? Uh, what did we do? I think it was. Was it mountaintop? No, it's mountaintop. Sorry, was it um Vostok, uh, Ellie? Oh. I think it was Vostok we did uh, on legend. A couple times, and then we just we got to like, what was the highest level we got to? How many we got pretty high in Legend, and then the gear after a while, we just kind of burned out. <laughs> but it was still fully really solid, though. Boss Talk, I think, is one of our our favorites. But I do I do like Moth Yards, but I think Midtown is probably the best when it comes to just consistency and knowing where things are placed on the, the map or the area, I guess. I, I've only really done it on Midtown so far. I haven't really experimented with the other ones yet. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to get you on Vostok or something. Get you some experience. Absolutely. That sounds like a fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I actually... I actually do like Vostok just because of the fact that it's like a it's like a middle ground. It's not necessarily close combat like you would find in Midtown, and it's not this open world or open zone like Moth Yards is. But it has a nice yeah. balance. I can see why you'd say that because Moth Yards is very wide open. Very very wide, yeah. And you know you'd have to be running some scouts and maybe some snipers on there. But the caveat with that is while it might suit a play style. I think it's just so you're so burdened by the fact that enemies come from left and right, but because the space is so vast, they have so much more time to just kind of come in on you. But at the same time, it's kind of slower, but that slow pace may turn people off. Yeah, it's kind of my uh, my feeling on the matter as well, to be honest. It's a bit too slow, right? Yeah, yeah. And they also come up from behind, too, which caught me off guard. Yes, that's the biggest the biggest complaint I've had recently is how enemies just want to spawn from behind like it just means nothing to them. Yeah, it's that actually... happens a lot in Midtown too. They just kind of spawn on top of the ADU and you're like, well, I guess it's taking damage for sure this time. That's cool. <laughs> right? It's actually insane how the game just wants to plop things right in front of you or right behind you and without you even recognizing it and it ruins the run because a lot of times you're prepared for what's coming at you not for what's teleporting behind you so mm -hmm. i think it's something they have to fix because that... it's like an exploder unit <laughs> yeah exactly right like a screever or something just comes from behind and you don't realize it or it can just be like this huge you know overwhelming overload teleporting fallen creature and you just, you don't have the time to respond to it because you're already so engaged with let's say an ogre that's in front of you and then you have to now turn your back towards something else it's just it's very off-putting yeah it doesn't feel good that's for sure yeah it doesn't feel good like, because they like, go for it oh i was gonna say like dying to something that you see coming and you just weren't quite ready for or you know not quite well prepared for is one thing but then dying to something that just appears out of nowhere and like one shots you essentially is not never a fun time. Yeah, absolutely agree. It's it's just not a entertaining experience, and I really do hope it's one thing they fix with regards to the overall system mechanics in in this mode. Because quite frankly, I, I feel like it's a really really fun mode. I think it's one of the more uh, enthralling experiences when it comes to. 
to just a PvE ordeal in, in Destiny. I know a lot of people may not enjoy dungeons or raids as much, but I think this is a nice, perfect spot for players who just want to dive in and just gather resources. And, mm. you know, while while the loot pool, admittedly, I think could be better as far as Legends concerned, because I'm hearing some unfortunate situations where... Yeah. Yeah, the patterns, the enemy patterns, but more importantly, the, the loot that you receive is very, uh, dare I say, crappy. Uh, because even though you, you, you clear a 50 run on Legend, you're only getting an extra chest. So people right. are people are just, you know, uh, grinding level 10 Legend and quitting and doing it again. So, and it's not even like it's an extra chest of extra refined things. It's just the same loot pool. There's nothing different. Right. Exactly. It's, it's just the it same. like three brave weapons in it, people would be more incentivized to do that, but it, it doesn't. I agree. I totally agree on that. Yeah, it does not give you any real incentive to want to get to 50 Welcome versus back. if you just do a normal, you know, a, a normal run for normal you're good and you don't have to really stress too much since you're getting very similar rewards for less of that overwhelming mental stress mm -hmm. so i hope they do fix legend in some way to make it more of an experience to where you get more loot and just overall it's more rewarding because right now i don't feel i don't feel like i'm compelled enough to want to go all the way like of course a part of me is like man i would really love to do legend run and just cook it but i just feel like why why go through that when i can just literally do normal farm the same way and get the same rewards if not perhaps even better because i can attune things and i can just use my tokens uh, or my trophies of bravery rather and just sit in the the hall of champions all day yeah exactly <laughs> so i don't really have much incentive otherwise so I do hope they add some new elements. Maybe again, I was saying earlier before another stream where you know, adding some new enemies or maybe even giving us like a sneak peek at the, the new dreads, the new dread enemies, like maybe just before final shape to can throw the dread enemies inside the onslaught for us to kind of test out our weapons against them. That'd be an interesting Ooh, thing. You know, they have done similar stuff to that before. Like back when Forsaken was about to come out, they released Prestige. Well, they didn't release it. They already had Prestige raids in the game, mm -hmm. but they released a reward for people doing Prestige raids, which would give you an extra 10 power levels to the cap. So you would already have a head start on the next like cap of power level. Ooh. And like the only way to get that was by doing the Prestige raids. Oh, wow. That really incentivize you in a lot of ways. Absolutely. And it, it turned out to be like a 1,000 level difference. So the extra 10 levels didn't really matter at all. <laughs> but it was nice when it was like released. You know, it felt incentivized to do them. Yeah, absolutely. And that's how it should be. You should feel incentivized to to want to participate in the mode because it's what gives you the, the thrill. You know, you know that at the end of it all, you're coming away with something that you actually wanted versus oh i just did this but what did i get for it i just used my time but that time could have been used for something better you know exactly yeah so while while my while my heart says good things about onslaught there's certainly a lot of gripes that i do have and uh, i would definitely hope they add something to really give players the motivation to stick with it because people were saying oh man you know the mode's gonna get boring and i can certainly see why because if there's not enough variance in it it can be very boring <laughs> but yeah you know it's it's certainly something that i feel uh, once they fix that down the road it'll be so much better uh don't wait on me i'm doing something with stilograms oh okay i thought you were ready then tiran um, Are you? Oh, sorry. That's all good. We can go ahead. Go ahead and set it. Are you in the hall of champions right now? Uh, no. I'm actually in the tower. Do you want to go to hall? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll right. join you, and then we can get Adelon over when you're ready. All right. Cool. Let me hop on over to the hall. 
And I dropped you an invite. Don't know if you had that. I don't know if yeah, you received I just it. Got it. I was farming the last few kills I needed for my uh, midnight coup thing to get unlocked. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's go. What about the uh, mountaintop one? Did you do that one? Oh. I guess now is a good chance because we can do onslaught, and I think it progresses faster if you do bring a GL. So. You need one? Yeah, J. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I, no, I wasn't going to say anything. Okay. Yeah, Jay, if you, if you want to hop in, uh, by all means, because it'll be me, Ender, because Tahirin right now uh, is doing something with Steel Gramps at the moment. So I guess maybe after the stream then, Tahirin, or maybe later on if you still have time, if you're around, just give me a shout. We can definitely do that. And then, uh, yeah, Jay, if you want to hop in, I'll invite you as well. And then we can just do a three man for this onslaught. We'll do a normal run. We'll get uh, we'll get Ender into the swing of things with Vostok, because really every every map has a strategy. So I think one of the things we have to do, and one of the things I love to do is is like mastering things, and I want to be able to really truly understand the ebb and the flow of every single map. But I guess because we're doing Vostok and I do it a lot, I want to try and master Vostok's loadouts and just um, like the turret. What's that? The turret locations and uh, decoy locations. I want to memorize those. Okay. Yeah. What's up, Jay? I think. What's up? Oh, what's hey, up? Jay. Hey, what's up? Not too much. Having a good time here. This is. Day. My day has just started. So for me, I would say I'm in a pretty good. Day, right? Uh, now it's 8.30 on the dot, so I'm pretty More good. like 8.30 a.m.? Yeah, 8.30 a.m., yeah. 8.30 in the oh. morning. <laughs> it's like 7.30 p.m. here. Yeah, yeah, my day is just getting started, like so. almost the end of my day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just enjoying the nice, beautiful, sunny morning. And the weather is now much warmer than it was before, so... Uh, I gotta say that. Pretty happy. You must get up. You must get up really early then. Yeah, I'm an, I'm an early bird now. I used to be a late person. I used to go to bed at like 3 a.m. Yeah, me but... too. Like, uh, I used to be like an early bird too when I had like the work schedule like that. Yeah, my my life has changed because my body started to remind me that hey, this is only one car you have. This is the this is the one car you're driving, my friend. You better smarten up. <laughs> so I said, all right. And I sort of go into bed earlier. So I go to bed now, like around 10, 30, 11. And then I just, I sleep until around 5, 30, yeah, 6. Yeah, I remember waking up at those times. It's actually better. Oh, yeah. I love waking up with a the sun. better than like just staying up. Yeah, I usually sleep in a little bit. Like I'll wake up at 5 and then look at the clock and I'm like, oh, you know what? I think half half yeah, an hour. More daylight, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, more daylight, but most importantly, the day feels long. It feels very. Yeah, it's because of the. I feel it's because of the daylight. Because like, yeah. you're up since the morning, right? Right. So you're experiencing all twelve. Like, what is like maybe like eight hours of daylight? Yeah. <laughs> and it's a good feeling just to have that that nice vitamin D the moment you wake up. Just a, a nice, yeah, good I feeling. Yeah, I think that's why it was better. You feel a lot better. Yeah. The first thing I do when I wake up is I just stretch, do a bit of yoga, and then I open my window, just breathe in the, the fresh air of life, and then I'm I'm good. <laughs> like, I just need uh, some fresh air in my face, and then I, I wash my face, obviously, but fresh air is just so revitalizing, and then once that's done, my day is... My day is good to go. I'm super good. I usually have like a routine and that routine is pretty standard now. And uh, I'm glad that I've made that routine because it's really helped me in terms of like mental, mental shape, mental health rather. And just yeah, it's be hard to keep a good routine. Oh yeah. Especially nowadays when everything is just 
all over the place and you've got work you've got maybe a family you've got all these errands you have to attend to and trying to trying to calculate your time and where to place your time is always always a problem but when you find the time I and you when you organize it that, like i normally get up at like nine but i'm trying to get used to like getting up a lot earlier like before the sun is out yeah i highly recommend it it's really good for you for everybody but i certainly recommend yeah. it <laughs> yeah, it's a good it, it's it's a good habit that's for sure i imagine for for you ender it's probably the opposite right you're probably more of a night owl or no I, I, exactly the opposite actually i prefer the early mornings yeah i love it especially it when be a big time night owl though and then i switched over when i started working my current job having to get up there really early so it uh definitely switched up my life it's work sure. you can't really do anything you just gotta deal with it yep eb 4 a.m club baby oh man that's that's wild <laughs> i used to be like that though so i know errands on errands on errands to, yeah i, I know that and then go to work for like have to arrive for work for five and then end work by like 3 p.m yeah you go to sleep back at like probably like i'll try to go to sleep at 10 but like i'd like push it to 11. Yikes. Yeah, that's rough makir good to see you good to see you brother how you doing just just joking 5 30 oh man yeah again i used to be like that but it just it just could not my body could not sustain the moment i did not see sun my body was like you're not having fun right now i'm gonna make your life heck until you smarten up and when i did my body was like all right now we're talking I look out that window and I see that nice bright yellow sun or whatever color it is. <laughs> so as long as I see it, that that's what makes my day. I have to see sun now. Or even if it's just raining, I don't mind like a morning rain. It's this just I have to be up in the morning. Make me proud. It's amazing how much benefit you have from just a couple of minutes of uh, sunlight in the morning. I know, right? Like it's such a dramatic shift in energy and just overall vibe in your in your in your whole mode of operation mm -hmm. you feel and more you feel like a jolt of energy being in, in, immersed in it yeah at least i do anyway no i totally am with you i totally feel the same way it's just a jolt of this energy that really feels different it's it's something you can't really explain but i mean it could be just the endorphins and you know the the whole dopamine from the sun but i i just feel like there's just a different type of energy that you have when you wake up and you see the sunlight it just it's a it's like a battery getting recharged mm -hmm. i like to claim some sort of sleep schedule in recent times but frankly i've woken up nearly every hour in the last few months it's all good just slowly rotating pushing off sleep i'm not working through trauma you're working through trauma <laughs> no, I, I feel you i feel you on that i mean the thing oh, is no, no no give it to me oh, no. oh i was gonna it. yeah i'm duping it i'm duping it too no like you can dupe the battery the actual battery oh yeah i did i duped it that's why i picked oh, it up you know how to do that oh yeah yeah, you just switch your weapons and throw it at the same time, and it dupes the battery. Yeah, I was doing that all day yesterday. You know how to dupe, by the way, um, Ender? Or is that new to you? No, I, I didn't know. But I'm going to try it right now. Yeah, so if you see a battery and in the floor... battery, basically, and then you can make infinite batteries. This is long you have to like mash out mash out your 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 yeah. ability before you throw it. Wait, the ability or just changing weapon? Wait, are you talk uh are you talking about duping the points or are you talking about duping the battery? Duping the battery. 
But to dupe the battery, you wanna you wanna match out your class ability. So like you throw you throw the battery and then you throw it at the ADU, right? And then you mash out your class ability and then it should duplicate the ball in front of you. Oh yeah, okay. Cool. That was really easy. Yeah, very, very straightforward. Especially since I have my uh, my class ability down to now still. Oh perfect. Yeah, even more easier than in that case. Sunning your butthole as a jolt. I mean, that can help too, I guess, if that's what you're into. <laughs> I, for one, just don't mind standing in front of the sun. Well, not in front of it, but <laughs> Wait, I'm sure you get my point. <laughs> Getting that direct sunlight is always a, a nice thing for me. All right, so this is the new strat I'm thinking about. So instead of running with Virgilus Curb, I'm running with uh, Cryosthesia because it's infinite ammo well, that's and a good gun. yeah, yeah. Infinite freeze, exactly infinite freeze and because the rate of fire is so much faster on Cryo, I can just freeze them, lock them down. It's kind of like having a handheld Salvation's grip. <laughs> yeah, so good. I just All of the stasis weapons are good. If you haven't used Aegis Scepter, that's a really good one, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, Aegis Scepter, I hear, is a good one, too, which I still have to grab. That might be my next purchase, to yeah. be honest. It's a really yeah. good one. You'll like it. I highly recommend it if you're going for stasis builds, for sure. Yeah, I, I hear that gun is, like, the quintessential weapon of choice for any stasis fan. Yeah, like, I, I'm using it right now. And I'm basically like using it to like freeze groups of enemies like you. Which is really good. And if that's the case, we can probably run a legend and probably cook up because stasis on legend is actually a lot easier. Legend is still really hard. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Fine. We could try. Yeah, of course. When we get this 50 though. <laughs> I, I, rem I recommend uh, Midtown though because that's the easiest smile. Yeah, mid is definitely a little bit easier to run a legend on. I'm running this one so Ender can get a feel for this one and try and understand the, the flow of it. Yeah, this one's interesting so far. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't mind this one. This is like yeah, my second favorite out of all the maps. Peace all, be good. You too, PB. You too. I wish you well. I mean, all of us have peace in our lives, but we need, especially nowadays with all these morons out there. I try my best to be as as peaceful as I can be on stream. Oh, nice! We already hit the the pyramid. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Uh, Make me proud. I'm gonna pick up this uh, your chest. Let's let's wait. Let's wait till we come back out. I think it's gonna go away. No, no, I will still be there. I'm inside the pyramid, so <laughs> you guys can uh, negotiate out there. <laughs> Where are you? I left it. Okay. Perfect. And yes, of course, by mouth, Ellie, yes. Uh, I would hope that you're taking the supplements by mouth. Not not that any other way is bad, it's just, you know, by mouth seems to be quite effective. Again, okay, whichever way you prefer, you know, everyone has their own likes and dislikes, their own, uh, dare I say, fetishes. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so whatever makes you feel good, whatever solves your problem, all right, let's use the righteous infliction of retribution. I'll use it right now too. Um, so I'm gonna level up this this what should we call it? This turtle over here for 4k, and then I'm gonna work on decoys afterward. Perfect. Can I get you to? Dude, this is so. Dude, let me upgrade. There you go. There's only two decoys over here. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yep. They, they're yeah, limited. On this particular one, for sure, like this particular spawn point, there's very limited uh, decoys. But I think once we rotate, it should be like about three decoys. I want to buy this Destiny soundtrack. Is there like, can you actually buy the the full soundtrack on the Destiny Bungie store? Mm, I'm not sure. Because man, I would love to just own this entire OST. It's breathtaking. It's actually good music to just like listen to, just study to. Fantastic. I'm gonna grab these notes for us. We can grab our heavies again. Perfect. Good work, Guardian. Your light is strong. Nice. Good job. This should be heavy nearby again if you if you all want it. I'm good for now. All right. I'm gonna... I guess I'll. I'll do this. Feedback. Okay. Right. I'm running. I'm running over to A. I get. We need to finish off these bricks. Otherwise, uh, these bricks will cause some yeah, problems. Yeah. Right okay. I'll come over right here. Okay. Gotcha. A should be done. Step over to B. Oh, never mind. Ender's got it. Nice. And we're back to the pyramid. Perfect. Well done. This is boss time, so we're going to have to make some weapon swaps. Uh, I'm going to swap over to... Um, and petitioner and we should be good okay, let's go all right execute all targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles and pb by the way have you been playing onslaught by the way i don't know if i asked you earlier I show you a spot where like the enemies cannot kill you. Yeah, by all means, yeah. Come follow me. Right, right here, this way. Okay. If you stand uh, behind these pillars, the enemies won't come to you, but they'll still shoot in your direction. But they won't come to melee. Oh, they interesting. Okay. Yeah, they don't come to you, so they won't come melee. You. Okay, that's good to know. But that's that's only if you want to be safe, so you can go there. So I'm just gonna have to find That's a good that's tip. Really good to know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a safe spot. Appreciate that. Especially for me, since I'm just playing with my linear, I don't want to be out there in the open, so... Yeah, I think I saw it in a... Perfect. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good tip. Appreciate that, man. Any any uh, open tips are always appreciated. That that's like a really good trick for like legend. Guardian down. Yeah, legend. I imagine you'd want to have something like that, especially due to all the pressure you're you're facing. I'm gonna go to the star though. I'm gonna try and use to use use the actual game mechanics and uh, get some more damage here. I can see this boss, but his boss is hiding behind a wall. See this thing. There we go. Nice job. I got you. But yeah, one of the things that I've I've learned just by watching a lot of Astacross and just other streamers play this mode. 
aggression is not going to be your best friend. Because a, a lot of... Yeah, like a lot of times I've seen so many people who have just tried to go aggro and I'm just like... There's a reason why it says defensive uh, above the mode when before you go into the mode it reminds you that this is defensive. So you have to really play it slow. Otherwise you will get cooked. Alright, so, uh, Ender, you did mention... Uh, mentioned decoys, right? Yeah, there's one here by me. And then there's one on the other side right over here. But I don't see it spawning. Uh, are we in the right spawn area? I guess Jay is in the right area? Oh, it put us over here, yeah, though. That's, that's so weird. Yeah, why did it put us over here? <laughs> what the? Me, me and Ender are like on the opposite end of the map and then Jay is this, the Lone Ranger up there. Once again, another gripe I have to point out with this mode. Things gotta be fixed. I mean, that's just Bungie in a nutshell, though. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I got you. I've been loving my stasis build for Onslaught. Yeah, I definitely have to say that stasis, especially when it comes to defense, stasis is a very defensive build, or class, I should say. And... Yeah, when you when you play with that, you're you're in pretty safe hands. You're not stressing about anything. Which is why I like the Cryostesia, because it's it's a weapon that requires little to no effort, but yet you get a massive amount of reward. You just freeze targets if you can you know if you can land your shots of course. I guess that the only caveat is if you miss your shot, then well good luck. That's me. <laughs> it's like the one moment you really need that ice to freeze and you miss your shot. It's like, well, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I totally agree though, Makir, that uh, having, having the ability to just freeze on the fly via speed dial is just too nice. And if you're running with someone who also does freeze or stasis, you're basically, you're living. And right now, no pun intended, this is a pretty chill run. Like, I'm... I'm not even gonna have to use that mm -hmm. much effort. <laughs> oh. And there it is. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take him down here, if anything. Since I have the most speed, I can probably be the one to lead him away, since I can just use my spark of pace to get away. <laughs> you had to say it. <laughs> I know, right? Just as I say chill, this is Tormentor comes in. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so yeah, man, it's a pretty chill run. Jinxed it, bro. <laughs> Actually jinxed it. Tormentor was like, nah, bro. I call my drink real quick. Like, wait a minute, man. Be harder. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, wait a minute. What are you saying there? That Tormentor is gone, though. Oh, I gotta change my actual weapon. Forgot that I had this low equipped still. Alright, I'm gonna grab this heavy, by the way. There's about 15 seconds left on the clock, so... Alright. If this were held, Divers, I'd blame Joel. <laughs> I guess the witness heard you talking smack. <laughs> Can't even lie. I got 5k. I'm probably gonna sit on this 5k. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get the decoy real fast. Yeah. Get it to level 2. Then we just need we just need one more to get Shax at 6k. I just know it's gonna move us, so I'm gonna save it. Yeah, no worries. I think decoys are always valuable. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're always gonna be good. Are. That decoys are nuts. Oh, perfect. Yeah, someone put the shacks down. Nice. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're not losing. We're not losing now. We're good. 
this is an easy, easy win for us. One Shax is around. Game's over. And Makira, have you uh, have you cleared your legendary run by the way? Oh. I'm really impressed by the fact that people have actually cleared it solo legend, which is crazy. That to me is incredibly impressive. What really? Yeah. Someone did a world record. Yeah, world record solo. Is there a video? Uh, I believe there is. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I believe it was posted on Twitter. I don't know if it was the official destiny. What they do then, you know, like add clear as one person. Yeah, exactly. You can see their strategy and like mentality behind it. I think it was posted on Destiny Bulletin on Twitter. Best your opponents and survive. So if you check out Destiny Bulletin, Victory you might be able to catch it. But it was like it was from uh, a guy from France. Well, I can't say a guy, but it was a person from France, and they cleared it, uh, Legend Solo. And I was like, wow. And they have a picture to prove it too. I did see the picture actually, so I don't remember who it is. Yes. But like, I don't, I don't know if it's on the leaderboard so that they actually did it solo because somebody could just leave and they could say, they could make it look like, but if they are actually on the leaderboards, then that's impressive. I'm not too sure if they're on the leaderboards, but they definitely posted a photo of it and it did show a full run. Like it showed the, the 50 out of 50. I don't know what the result was, but it did say wave 50 and it was completed on that photograph. Because it looks like you're the leader, right? You can just kick. The other two, and then they won't show up if you want. That is true too. But I'm, I'm I not hope gonna... that's not the game. Yeah, I hope so too. Like, I hope I want to give that person credit because anytime I see that type of success, I'm, I'm always one to, to give credit when it's due. So the worst thing I would want is to pull that person down. I wanna, uh, I wanna look up the leaderboards and see if somebody's actually done that. Because if they have, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's impressive. I know that, I think, Asteric tried to do it solo, and I think Asteric got, Esoteric got, like, pretty far, but not completion. Because when did... you get overwhelmed with the ads, you have to, like, kill them, otherwise, like, like, you're gonna lose the ADU. So oh, yeah. I know how you did that. Yeah, I'm very curious myself. I imagine there's a specific build that just did not contain any sort of, um, could have been stasis, I'm not too sure, but whatever the build was, it, it definitely was warlock. Was mostly like, he, I don't know, I don't know if he, 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 he probably switched amongst some other builds. Didn't Esoteric yeah, do it? So. Hmm. It was Esoteric. No, no, no. He was one of he was one of uh, a few that did attempt it, and I believe he. Uh, Esoteric did post a video on YouTube. I did catch it, but it was only up to like level. It was like level 40 something. Uh, I can't remember the exact number, but this person in particular, like, completely. If anybody did it, I would expect them to do it. Yeah. I don't know if Esoteric fully completed it, but I definitely know. Uh, they, they definitely attempted it, to say the least. But again, I'm not going to take credit away from uh, that French runner who did it. Because if that photo speaks of any volumes, it's a pretty impressive regardless. I'm, I'm, again, to do anything of this caliber solo on Legend, when there's literally unstoppable hordes coming at you from every direction, you, like, you have to literally be in a flow state. <laughs> like, you, you have no distractions at that point. Mm. Because milliseconds count, and if you are, if you're just one millisecond off of a decision, you're dead. It's not like a, a normal run where you can make a few mistakes. Even well, I guess even a normal mistakes are always 
Imperadoof. Especially when you get to like the higher levels, but uh, I think that Legend is even more like milliseconds are so critical. One slip up oh. and it's oh. <laughs> what happened? Milliseconds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure I picked up that uh, that orb, and it turns out I didn't pick up the orb. Oh, I must have been me. I must have picked it up before you did. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My bad on that. No, it's all good. <laughs> but how did you die from it, though? Did you just like... like... I had a grenade launcher in my hand. Oh. <laughs> and then when I left, like, just throw the orb, it turned out to throw a grenade instead. <laughs> <laughs> I think that happened to me with the yesterday, too, with uh, me Which and me, now? Ellie. Do do Wasn't that yesterday? Thing? I think it was the last stream. It was me, Ellie, and Gramps, and I definitely made the same mistake where I... I thought I picked up the... <laughs> the battery and... and Ultimately, I kill myself, so. That's just how it goes sometimes, man. Yeah, that's sometimes the way. It's your turn to shoot the thing in front of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Have been able to find a good team for Legend? Well, you've got us right here. Like here, you've got the whole family here. So, you don't have to worry. There's going to be a time when we do run this. And I'll be running this most of the week. Oh, so he did. They did still ground throw down. Oh yeah, Zaniris. That was the name, Zaniris. Yeah. Yeah, Zaniris was the one who got it done. And again, shout out to Zaniris for that. That's massive. Uh, sorry about that. New. I had. I had told. Hold on one second. Brain can't operate. One thing at a time. One second. Perfect. Didn't even need the reinforcements there. All right. Sorry about that. New. I had told Steel Gramps uh, I would run Whisper with him, so I went ahead and did that. It's fine. No problem. No worries at all. I'm just glad you had a chance to do it with Gramps. So, as long as the two of you had a good time, I'm happy with that. Oh my gosh, I'm getting some really good rolls with my mount. Um, Midnight coup. I guess I'm just gonna always be going to the wrong place, I know. Yeah! I went back to like a different wait, never mind. I'm at the same place. No, you're in the right place. I was just shot off to the one we were just at. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea, man. This this thing is a maze at times. Let me purchase there you go. I'm gonna purchase this one in front of us. This guy right here. Next one should be at 4k for the decoy. And then I'm just going to save up my 2k here. And awesome. I'm glad I'm glad you both were able to, to complete it. So did you get the new Whisper? Um, well, what did you guys do? Was it just like the legendary run or the normal run for the weapon? What, what did you all run? Just curious more than anything. Oh, for the caddy? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, once you get that, once you get that stuff for a whisper, you are clean. I think I just need to do the the second blight section. And then once that's done, then that should be nice. Because I've already collected the secret. I got the secret the secret field prep thing or whatever you call it and then um i also received the secret for the, the ship i went to the secret spot for the ship the other day i'll grab these batteries here all right we were actually cooking with the well and everything else my goodness I'll be there in a moment. 
I'm just gonna defend the base right now. Just swap out my weapon actually. Oh, I just got at base. It's my bad there. I, I just... It's all good. I made, I made a mistake there. It's just a error on my part for, uh... For not swapping weapons off. Go for it. Uh, wait, didn't I, didn't I buy this? Did I not just buy this? I swear I bought it. It probably, it probably broke. Oh, right. It's fine. I'll just save up then. Uh, after the blights, you need to complete it on Legend Two. For for the part two again. Or are you talking about like in general? And yeah, Makir, don't don't be afraid to ask for help. I, I know I know that I know the feeling though. I know how you feel exactly. When you you know you you, you feel hesitant to ask for help because you don't want to be a bother. I know exactly what that feeling is like. The the doubt creeps in, you're thinking, oh if I ask, you know, that might be annoying to them. A lot of times I've learned, at least from my experience, a lot of times people actually want to help. It's just you know it's is this how it's how you go about it? That's the real thing, and you know it's your genuine, your genuine. Uh, what can I say? Attitude is what people are really looking out for. You know, you can you can ask, but just ask in a genuine way, because people will will sense your genuineness. Whereas some people will ask, but their their intentions to ask are are shrouded behind some real, you know, malicious intent. But I'm sure your intention is not malicious at all. So. To be fair, I think we only really had one instance of that at all, as far as I'm aware of, anyway. Most people here are just very, very, uh, either kind and willing to help individuals, or they are looking for some other people to help them out, and there's always a, a spot for that. Absolutely. And that's really what I, I kind of place a lot of priority on when it comes to my community, is like, I want people to feel welcomed, so... Don't feel as if you have to, uh, you know, feel hesitant. You can, by all means, just ask, and I'm sure somebody will help you out. Put your oh. enemies down before they do the same to you. All right, now just. Oh, so it's every week you have to rerun the mission on Legend. Oh. I guess for like a couple weeks. Gosh, man. Time gated content. We oh, love it. I know, right? Unreal. Oh, like doing it the first time on Legend was annoying, and I gotta do it again just to unlock what uh, a few extra perks. Yeah. Oh god. The gun itself, a crafted weapon, is not very stellar compared to its base version. I imagine if you get the base version, you're probably well off, right? Absolutely. You don't need more than that, in, in my opinion, anyway. In that case, after I buy Agers, I'm just gonna buy Whisper the Worm from the monument. Wait, is it is it in the monument? No, it's not, right? No, we we'll just run Whisper and get that for you. It takes no effort at all. You don't need to buy it. Okay, because I, I have I have the crafted version. Yeah, you're fine with that. Oh, okay. Once you unlock the catalyst, the um, the whispered breathing section of it, you're you're fine. You have everything you need to on that weapon. Oh, perfect then. All right, then uh, I'm not stressing because I literally just got the field prep uh, perk, and then I just went back to grab the the blueprint for the ship, and then that was it. I just said, you know what, I'm out of here. Oh yeah, the ship. Oh wait, is it a different ship than it was last time? I th think so. I, the one, the one blueprint I received, I can't remember what ship it was for, but I just grabbed it. Forgot what it was mentioned 
what the name was mentioned in the video that I watched. Are, are there two ships you can get, or is it just one ship? There was the original one that you had to get, and it was a very convoluted process to get it. Um, <gasps> not really convoluted, it was just tedious. It was also time-gated. You yeah. had to run the Legend version multiple weeks to get enough resource to get the ship unlocked. Mm, that could be the one that I'm doing then, because I just got one of the blueprints uh, last week, and then I imagine maybe this week it's in a different spot to collect all four, I guess? He's got to collect Relic. Yeah. Well, I'll see how I feel during the week if I'm compelled enough to want to get it. Not like I'm really you know, incentivized right now to go after a ship. Not that the ship is bad, it's just... You know, I kind of already have the ships I like. <laughs> but it's fancy and shiny. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> and that's how they get you. <laughs> they hook you. But yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll attempt it. There's no harm in it. It's not like I'm losing much out of it. Uh, so that can, that can't be done anymore. That the one that is in the game now is the new one. Okay, so you're referring to oh. the. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I guess that answers your your inquiry then, uh, Ender. Absolutely. Come from? I swear I just killed you. It's going to them. Oh my goodness. So once I collect, okay, so based on the new format, right? So just to clarify, because I now that uh, Ender did bring up a good point about shiny things and collecting mm. things, uh, I do have the I do have the first week's blueprint of the ship, and I imagine they're probably going to switch the direction or location rather of where you can collect the second blueprint piece, and I'm guessing that's that's part of this week, right? So I have to find that new blueprint today or whenever I decide to do it. I don't quite know, I'll be honest. I would imagine, like most other content, though, that you can do it in succession. If you miss a week, you can just get two weeks at once. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out then. Okay, so Graham says yes. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna have to look for all the, the new. Uh, well, I guess if I want the ship, I'll look, for, I'll look for the ship blueprints. But as far as the Whisper stuff, I'll probably just stick to what. Uh, Ender suggested and just keep it simple. Not to focus too much on trying to farm for every single perk that I need, because I mean, I already have, as at least, I mean, I, um, Ender said the uh, whispered breathing part, and that should be more than enough. Because, like, I'm, I'm already pretty much doing like 100k plus, and that's not even with everything activated, so. I can do 105k with what I currently have. It'd be cooking. Because it is technically the highest damage, the most highest damage weapon in the game currently right now, right? Dies, but when you're around, if you're talking crit. It happens so much uh, I would think so, yes. So in that case, I think I'm safe. I'm not stressing that. Uh, what did my mountain top give me? Impulse amplifier, adrenaline junkie, sticky grenades. Oh, so it does come with sticky. Wow, got sticky and spike. But the uh, third and fourth perks kind of suck. Uh oh. What happened? Oh, okay. I got scared. The game went black, and I was like, "What happened?" And once again, put me in a really bad spot. All the way on the other side of the map. 
So I'm going to save here. Uh, Endorf is also right that you can likely get the rest of the ship, ship blueprints on the last week. Yeah, I'll probably wait. I don't see any rush, to be honest. It's not like I need it right this second. But it really would be a nice incentive to grab for the the event ends or this expansion ends. I got Spike, Demo, and Adrenaline Junkie on your mount top. Nice! That's actually a really good roll. So I guess mine isn't too bad then. I just would have loved not Impulse Amplifier, but I mean, it's not like the worst roll. With Impulse Sticky? Great. Yeah, I was going to say. Anyway. Yeah, that's actually not a bad. A spike and Sticky, Impulse, and Adrenaline Junkie. It's... Yeah, I can't I can't complain all that much. I've yet to see what other rolls I've received. Because I've just been gathering them. I haven't been paying attention to what rolls I received. I'll check out for them. Whoops. Oh, man, here we go. You like bonuses. <laughs> Mountain top doobie out. Maybe I need to go get some of that. Yeah, you gotta put on the old McDonald how to farm music. Time to go farming. Once I saw mountain top out today, I said I'm. I am literally farming today. There's no way I'm not gonna farm. I'm definitely on my farmer farmer vibe today. Maybe without the music. Oh. Uh oh. You guys need heavy. Um. You know what? Melted on him quick. Hey, you know what? Now that you mentioned it, I'm gonna grab my heavy. Yeah. Well, 15 seconds left on the clock. No, I'll use my super on this idiot too. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be really good. yeah. Oh. Oh, you were trapped in a cave. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he was right in front of me and I couldn't get out. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and get him away from the... ...ADU here. Oh, he's just up there. He just wants to stay up there all day, huh? Oh, he's grabbing me. That's not fair. Can't do that. <laughs> no grabbing. How are you not dead yet? I just looked like my entire magazine on you. So much help. Crazy. Yeah, good grief. Ah, oh, you're dead. Okay, I got you. I'll wait. How much money do you guys have? I have 4,000. I got 5,100, so I'm gonna stack up on shacks right at the bottom here. Got a purple. And now I'm down to 1,600. If one of you guys have 6,000, then yeah, shacks would be the perfect. Perfect pick for now. Yeah, Shax is good for us here. Big damage auto loading special to pair with Tikus. Ooh, yeah, and that's what I'm saying, man. Mountain Top was like the one weapon I was really itching to, to farm. So I'm I'm actually glad I took the time yesterday to just focus on getting that, that video out for the hung jury. Uh, which by the way folks if you would be kind enough to watch the video. Just like it. Leave a comment or something. You know? For sure. Looking forward to watching that. I saw you put it out this morning. Oh, this morning for me anyway. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Tried to, I'm trying to minimize the time on it because my first reviews were a bit... a bit long. 
I try to aim for at least 10 minutes, but of course every weapon is going to require different elements of response, so I think with the hung jury, since it's pretty like straightforward, there's nothing new about it in that sense, it's the same hung jury as, it, as it's always been. Yeah, for 14 years now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So not much to really write home about with that one unless, of course, you know, you're, you really want the brand new one. But if you already have the OG version, I don't really think you're inclined to want to push yourself to get a hung jury. I'd be more inclined to definitely grab something like a mountaintop or... Oh my gosh, no ammo for me. I'll be a mountaintop would be a great uh, option or... Even Midnight Coup. And by the way, I grab heavy ammo in case y'all are wondering. Mm, nice. Yeah, this this Which week, this week for me, I'm I'm extremely hyped for farming because I love both the Midnight Coup and and the Mountaintop. Both very good weapons to have for both PvP and PVE. So I, for one, am very happy. Yeah, I'm glad that Midnight Coup made a resurgence. Yeah, definitely. Great hand cannon. And I'm still looking forward to Luna's Howl, but I think until then, Midnight Coup will hold me down. Comfortably. Because it's either, for me recently, it's been... Again, PvP especially, I'm, I'm using a lot of uh, Round Robin, testing a little bit of the uh, Pure Poetry. And then I'm also running uh, Ace of Spades. Those are like my top three that I go to, but... I might give, I'm gonna give uh, the coup a try later on. Good leader. Your poetry is an interesting one, Twenty. I think it has more of a place in the uh, PVE, PVP. Oh, which one? Get, um, pure poetry. Oh, okay. You can get fourth times the charm and warple weapon on it. If you utilize that with uh, lucky pants, it makes for some pretty decent damage output. Okay, so you'd suggest it be more of a PVE threat than PvP. Interesting. Yeah. There's okay. a specific role you can utilize for PvP if you want to do like a hot swapping kind of thing. Which is also strong, but if that's not what you're looking for, there are better 128s to go for. Yeah, the round robin for me personally has been my go-to, uh, comparatively at least. Just the feel of it, just uh, the consistency of it, I think, beats out pure poetry. So I definitely see your perspective on that, because uh, I, I do have a triple perk pure poetry, and that came with fourth times a charm, and I believe it's steady hands, and a, another one that I can't remember. Okay. But, uh, and I think my other one had Fragile Focus and Elemental Capacitor, so I was like, you know what? I used that one for PvP just because having handling on Arc is really nice. And then the Fragile Focus just gave me the range I was looking for, but like you said, I think they're just way better tools in that 120 category that would fill that role a lot better. I think later today, uh, after the stream is done, I'm going to do more PvP practice, which actually, you know, now that we're talking PvP, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I haven't really been that enthused recently to play uh, PvP. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just competitive feels bland and it needs like more, more variety. I don't know if that's the same thing for you, uh, Ender, but... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I just feel like I need Especially something. The, uh, the change that they made to trials last weekend. Oh man, yeah, that, that change was... Brutal. That, yeah, it turned me right off. The moment I saw infinite specials, uh, special ammo, I was just like, you know what, I don't want to go against conditionals all day. Yeah, it was not my cup of tea. Yeah, I don't know what they're, they're testing, but I think that test was, in my opinion, uh, a failure for me. Uh, we'll see what they do this week, because I think this week is the unrestricted one, or restricted rather, sorry. So I'm very curious. 
And also, I think this week is hardware, so that's actually one mode I want to try because it's no abilities, no supers, it's just pure, you know, back in the day Halo type of vibe where it's just you and your gun. And that was your best friend, so I'm curious to see how they'll make that work, and that'll be a mode I try. Uh, Igneous Hammer is the best 120. I guess in terms of the way that it, yeah, I guess in PvP, yeah, I can see, I can see that being a contender for top spot. Round Robin is up there too, though, right? Like I feel like Round Robin is is pretty solid PvP wise. Granted, you hit all your shots, and of course you have a you know good rolls. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. I think my round robin currently, uh, where is it? Mine has under pressure and elemental capacitor, so it's not too bad. I mean, it could be better as far as my rolls, but because I just get like over a hundred handling anyway, that thing just, it just hits so hard. I really enjoyed uh, envious threadling and constantly, oh, hold on. I didn't read the other thing. Uh, I really enjoyed round robin for PvE things as a pairing for Braid Bloodline. Yeah, I can see that being a, a viable option too. Envious Threadling and constantly have over 20 shots in the mag. Yeah, yeah, round robin has its has its perks. It's definitely definitely a benefit to have. I I have to admit. Yeah, I've come to like round robin a lot more. Unfortunately, I just haven't had the luck. To I haven't had enough luck crafting it because that thing drops literally like once every blue moon. Even if I do all the modes for it, it's just... Yeah. Insane. Yeah, it's crazy. And, you know, you've been playing longer than I have, so that says a lot. <laughs> so, if an OG still hasn't attained the crafting for that weapon, I can safely say that. You know what? Okay, I'll come get you. Where did you die? Oh, okay, you're over there. I'll try and come at you. I can survive this. Oh my gosh. And I got laser beams in the back. Okay, you're on your own there, Jay. I'm up in four. Okay. I'm up in about 12 seconds. I tried to be a hero there. Sometimes being a hero isn't always the best choice, though. Okay, I'm back now too. Yeah, the servitors I think what actually zapped me because those things, if we don't kill those, it's a GG. Okay, I'm gonna actually just play the game. I'm gonna go to those stars. Usually I just focus on the boss purely for the DPS, but you bring up a good point. Those eyeballs are actually just super annoying to deal with. They're just shielding him the entire time. Oh no, I don't think I missed him. Oh my gosh, what the? Oh, they teleported behind me, or they spawned rather, sorry. It's fine, I'm back in about 16. I you right now. Okay, cool. Appreciate that. I'm gonna try my best to run around, run around, sorry. Up in 10 seconds. All right. I'll try my best to stay alive here and play it safe. I'm just playing from range here. Oh no! Okay, let me just try my best to survive. Thank you. That was a bit too far for. Revive over there. There you go. Uh, all the Neo Moon weapons have the coolest origin trait ever released to date. Anytime one of those weapons shoots off a bonus micro missile, my, my mind is like, what the F? <laughs> yeah, I definitely Absolutely. can agree. I, I can agree on that. What'd you get? Three line rounds and Desperado. 
Ooh. Nice. Our rifle and it's a shiny. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, I just got a dynamic sway and surrounded for my recluse, so I'm keeping that. There's some other LZ's rifle on the ground. Grab this real fast. Oops. Alright, so let me swap off again before I go back outside. Before I forget. Okay. I need to run the LMG more. Uh, which one is that one again? And here you are. Me and Ender have to run over to you, Jay. That is so dumb. Oh, wait, no, it's here, is it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I guess me and Ender are in the right place this time. <laughs> this game is really playing with our emotions here. We have shacks over there. Okay, perfect. I'm going to put 4K on top of that one. For the turret. Can I install turret? There you go. Perfect. Even though the perks are mid, I hear the origin trait carries in DPS to be a decent option compared to other LMGs. Are you talking about the um oh, I forgot what it's called now. I, I that thing always drops whenever I do whenever I do a run in Neo Muna, I always draw it always drops me the machine gun. It's so good. Yeah. I just I have like I don't know, seven or eight of them now. <laughs> that one kept me through um, Root of Nightmares the first time I was going to challenge. Oh, wow. It's that good for you, eh? Oh, I love it. That's awesome. That's good to hear. There are not that many LMGs that, that put in a lot of work, so... Hearing you say that is uh, very, very relieving. Because for the long through my legend uh, run on Midtown in, in Onslaught, I was using the um, uh, on a blind ball club. Oh, oh say there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I could remember it. <laughs> yeah. That's all good. That brain, yeah, the brain fart. The brain fart just kicks in. Yeah, circular lo circular logic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the weapon name that I couldn't remember. I knew it was logic, but I just couldn't remember what it was. The, the shape of it, I just couldn't remember whether it was like square or something. I don't know. Commemoration was being used. I'll say it again, Andrew. I'm going to be. Okay. Yeah. No worries. I guess I'll just I'll hunker down on base. Retrofit Escapade. Is that an OG one? Mm, no. No, it came out, um... Maybe the season right before you started playing. Oh, okay. So season 22, I guess, then. Huh. Retrofit Escapade? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, I'll have to look for that. It's a Void LMG. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for that one. Memoration. You can pattern for it and you can put in um, four times the charm, four times the charm, and target lock, and it just never ran out of ammo. That does sound pretty nutty, yeah. <laughs> Especially with target lock on there, you just single target, you're just peeling that person apart. Mm -hmm. Retrofit was the season before Lightfall launched. Okay, gotcha. You know, I'll have to keep an eye on that because my my go-to LMG at the moment, uh, outside of exotic being Thunderlord, I tend to use Marcado just because it has a slice hatchling combination. 
or a slice onslaught, which is disgusting. So I'm just debuffing targets and then I'm just erasing them from existence. But I'll have to give these ones a try that show I mentioned. Oh my gosh. Almost died there from those explosions. Um, I'm going to go to the left hand side. I'm going to try and take care of things on. Oh, one more splinter. There we go. Now we got it. Gegman says uh, he misses the retrofit pre volatile rounds nerf. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was big. Essentially, there was no limit to how many or how often you could proc volatile rounds on one target. And with retrofit's rate of fire, you could literally proc it with every single bullet, which is exponential. There was no. Execute all targets. Wow. Oh, I picked that up. And make sure you're still standing when the dust. Uh, oh, the heavy? Yeah, it was totally broken. And here I am, not having to experience all that. <laughs> I missed out on all those moments. Yeah, but you're around for the next one. It's like being teleported into an area you're not supposed to be. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Very true. Very true. I'm here for the, the next phase of, of broken, potential broken uh, builds and, you know, with Prismatic coming out, that's going to be interesting. So that's going to be, uh, you know, an experience for me to test out and then I can brag, in a, you know, when the day comes. Back in my day, you know, we had the Prismatic builds. When Destiny mm -hmm. 3 comes out and everyone's playing with all these wacky builds. Like, Back in my day, man, you know, Prismatic was the way to go. But I'm glad that I came in at the right time, though. I think that this was like the perfect time for me to come into the game with all these OG weapons coming back. And then, you know, of course, Final Shape being Final Shape. Just, uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, it, it, makes, me, it makes it for an interesting time. Because you're getting a lot of new players and you're getting a lot of returning players. And it's like a mixed bag of a lot of different things. Exactly. Exactly my thoughts too, and that that's a good thing. It's healthy for the game, and while there are there will be people out there who will be the naysayers and nitpick about the game, I still feel like at its core, uh, Destiny still brings in the audience that it deserves, and for good yep. reason. Like this is this is a game that I feel is just there's so much packed into this big open game and the fact that they're still continuing to make content for us you know a decade after the game's initial release being destiny and now there's rumor of destiny 3 coming out which is going to be crazy which i still think is a possibility considering we're moving into the whole prismatic era and the episodic format i think that's that's a very big hint of them likely moving more into that mmo category where they want to give players that that immersed, immersive experience, but like crazy freedom to create things. Because right now we're kind of limited. Well, I wouldn't say limited. Like obviously we have a lot of great ways to grow, to build crafts, but I think Prismatic is a very strong signal of what's to come as far as you know them building the game where now is really going to be an MMO. Like you're going to really just have a skill tree and you can pick up whatever abilities you want, whether it's, you know, you can you can go with flipping Caliban's hand mixed with Celestial Nighthawk and you can probably just go nuts in Destiny 3. Not D2 though, because there's obviously limitations to what you can do with Prismatic, but just, there's always, there's always like a... There's always a reason for why companies do certain things, and I feel like, wow, that was weird. Uh, them going down the the road of prismatic, I think, is just a strong sign that they're probably thinking of making Destiny three. And if any, if Final Shape is anything of a hint, that's like a brand, that's a new chapter 
because that old chapter is coming to an end. So what better time than... I don't. You can grab it, though. Oh, yeah. I should be all right. I should be good with both my indebted here, so... We gotta kill that, that guy by armor. Kill that thing. Oh. Oof. Okay, I just got fried, too. I'm just gonna put my super down. Might as well use it. Okay, I'll grab my heavy now. Um, where are you? Oh, okay, I do not want to get there. No, oh, ooh, 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 almost died. Okay, now we're good. Whenever I see those stupid screamers or the, the harpies, man, I get scared for my life. I was busy playing something else, working a job. I want to say that was... I want to say that was some time during the season of the deep where I was mad disappointed by the rework to the Othies and it ruined the season for you. Them nerfing Gear Falcons also killed the game for a while for you. It is what it is. They make the game what they want to make it or how they want to make it. Yeah, for sure. Gear was too good in PvP, so its initial form is lost to you forever. And that's another thing too, right? Like if you love something so much and then eventually it's changed or nerfed, it does kind of bring you down a little bit. Because it's, you know, the one thing you love so much, you hold you hold so dear to it, and then for them to take it away from you, you know, it does suck. Alright, should be good here. This should be final boss anyway, so we should be alright. This has been the most, literally the most relaxing run I've done all, all of Onslaught. Stasis void. <laughs> you can't do nothing, bro. Y yeah. Like, we've just Getting been happy. Blinded, frozen, everything. <laughs> yeah. Just have no options. We've just been having conversations the entire time, and I haven't even been thinking about much else. <laughs> I mean, sure, we've, we've died a couple times, but, like, nothing too severe. Speaking of severe, that guy blasted me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I better. Yeah, we, you know what, I, I may have jinxed our, our, our run here. Don't worry about me so much, I'm not in uh, Yeah, I'll just, I'll run around here. And I'm like wide out in the open. Oh, the boss <laughs> is on me now, too. Alright, I'll just, I'll let y'all revive. Oh. Yep. It's probably oh. safer. Alright, perfect. Yeah, I'll play the safer role here. Not gonna... You greedy. I got a good angle on his on his forehead anyway, so It'll be all right. Uh, turn around. Guardian down. Yeah, you are pretty far from me there, Jay. So I might not be able to res uh, you. Yeah, I play safe here. How much time do you have left? The beam was that strong. Just ten seconds. Okay. Yeah, that ogre's beam literally hits so hard. I know. Yeah, ogre's yeah, right, right, right out of my well. <laughs> yeah, which is unheard of. You'd think that the well would just keep you alive, and if an ogre beam is <laughs> it far supersedes that, nutty. I have no heavy ammo, by the way, so I'm gonna have to just use whatever I have at the moment, which is my indebted. Oh, I just got laser beamed by a captain. Okay, just be careful to the right-hand side. Okay. Yeah, they're all on the right. Hmm. He's like looking right at me. Back in six seconds. Four. All right, they're on my body. Like, they're literally on me. Don't even bother resing me. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother pressing respawn. I know I'm just gonna die the moment I press E. Ain't no way they're actually on my, my corpse like this. Alright, you should spawn back where I am. Okay, let me try. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you're right. Oof. I was like, if they spawn me on top of this idiot, 
There's no way. Nice job. Nice, let's go. Very clear, boys. Like I said, that was a chill run, so... <laughs> Even though a little bit of a slip up there, but nevertheless, still good. Succession? I don't want succession. You can stay over there. I just want my midnight coup and my... Alright. Let's have our... Let's have our... I don't even know. I haven't had any shinies drop for me personally. Unfortunately. Oh, that would have been crisp. Yeah, I've only had maybe out of all my rolls, I've only I only have ten shinies in total. That's a lot more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, I got my shinies from just going back to the hall and then just using my trophies and then farming there. Speaking of which, let's go back there. I need to sit down for a moment and actually check out my rolls and then we can maybe try legendary. I have so many of those, uh, those trophies, trophies of bravery. I just need to clean my vault because like I have no space at all. <laughs> <laughs> like on all the characters they're all full oh. I have like I have like about 200 and almost 300 of these trophies oh my gosh yeah you gotta clean up yeah yeah I wanna use them yeah now's the time Giovanni good to see you pleasure good to have you here we just have the, the wonderful Ender on the mic as well as the awesome hey. Jay. We're just uh, we're just vibing. We're gonna maybe do another uh, another run. We're gonna do legendary, but for now I'm just gonna go through my rolls, roll review here. Uh, let's see, midnight coup, attrition orbs, frenzy. I mean that's PVE for sure. I can use those attritions for the moments where they matter, but I don't think that's a, the best roll, so I might just delete it. Although Frenzy wouldn't be too bad, especially in PvE, but yeah, we'll delete you. There's better roles out there. What else do we have here? Uh, Mountain tops, so sticky grenades, impulse, adrenaline will keep. Let's check out the dim. Okay, so dim, midnight coup, I have desperate measures and land action. Which isn't actually not bad. Desperate Measures is a pretty good new perk. Especially if you're running a melee or grenade build. It's actually pretty good for my build considering I have Moth Keepers. And then Enlightened Action can be good for reload speed and handling. Wow, this is actually not bad. Aim Assist is ridiculously high at 90. Okay, hold on a second. I'll just put it on screen so you guys can see it. go yeah this is a time to uh to do some role reviewing so let's see flared mag gives me more stability and handling which is crazy now uh, let's see and then reload speed reload speed that 74 for this thing okay i might keep this one I might keep the Desperate Measures in land action. With Indomitability, that's actually good too, because that ties into Moth Keepers getting Grenade Final Blows, and then Weapon Final Blows grant damage, and then Melee Grenade Final Blows grant larger damage, plus the bonus can stack, so that is a good synergy. I'll just put Counterbalance on this one, so... I didn't even actually read what Ellie said, but I'll read it now, now that we have some downtime. Uh, give me a second. I gotta put on my favorite... My fa This is like my favorite shader right now, the Circadian Chill. It's so cool. 
Uh, it's almost like a breakup. Got to take some time away to let the frustration over things uh, not being the way they were to pass. Very true. Then, with some months, reapproach and rebuild the relationship. In fact, that that may that may have been why I didn't partake in the retrofit meta. I was still sad. Gear didn't boost TQs anymore. Yeah, it's a good point you bring up because I think when you allow yourself to get too caught up in the negativity that is the community at times and you don't allow yourself the space to just kind of breathe it, it can be very overwhelming and it does rob you of that experience that you really found to be the enjoyment of the game and unfortunately we live in a world where negativity is like the predominant emotion that people tend to project and so you know you trying to come to terms with all of that uh, it can definitely be no experience in and of itself so yeah taking a break away is actually a really really good thing because it can help you to just reanalyze and kind of give you a chance to be more retrospective on things and ask yourself hey you know like what do i love about the game like what brought me into this game and how can i maintain that that level of love and appreciation because a lot of people out there will try to rob it from you. But if you can find that very thing that keeps you engaged in spite of all of the gripes that many people tend to project, I think this game will always be something nice. Speaking of nice, this roll isn't too bad. Moving target rampage. Not bad. And I have stability masterwork. Range is 40 though. It's kind of... Hmm. Range, I would have loved some better range on this, if I'll be honest. But the stability masterwork makes it a laser. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep this one too, for review purposes. So that's two so far that I actually do like. Um, let's put that away. Let's put another roll here. Oh, this one I think is a good one. Kinetic Tremors and Explosive Payload. That's a good PvE one. I don't think Explosive works well in PvP, does it? Uh, it does work in PvP. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, I thought it was bugged. It's kind of hard to activate it, but it definitely works. Hmm, it's maybe in a more 6v6 environment. I'd imagine yeah. it... Yeah. So I guess I can keep this, because Kinetic I know for sure works. And Kinetic is always good to have. Uh oh someone DC'd. Oh, it's Jay. Okay. You good, Jay? Oh, I was just switching to my phone. Okay, no worries. Yeah, I think I'll keep this one too. It's not a bad roll. I think explosive and kinetic can be good for both PvE and PvP. I think its flexibility there is is nice. It just makes it a multifaceted tool. So that one I'll keep. So that's three rolls so far that I say that I'll say I'll keep for my midnight coup. Clear on this mic or no? Uh, you sounded better before, to be honest. Oh, really? Alright. No, that's okay. Oh, uh, did you just leave the team, by the way, Jay? They re invite you. It did it? I stepped away, so maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Them? yeah. Uh, it doesn't let you stay. Uh... Yeah, it's pretty dumb. You see the chest there, though? You see the chest? Uh, which one? Yeah, I can't join there at all. Look at the chest and the all of fountains and move them around. Wait, which chest are you talking? Which one? Always this one over here. Hero oh, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Are just a ah. Okay, way back where Ender is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I moved those. Oh, you want you need these? Oh, oh, no, this no, one. Moved oh, this one on the floor. I took them off the pedestals. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I thought for I thought for a if while. You stand on the, you know about that bug. If you stand on the edge of the chest, it like drops it down. You could try on the other ones. Yeah, I was about to say. I think the first day I locked into the, the mode, I oh, pushed you've off. Oh, people do that. Oh, I you did, did that yourself. Yeah, I did it myself. I just walked up to the box and I jumped, and then just pushed it off, <laughs> and and then. I couldn't activate it, so I had to log back out. <laughs> so I said never again. I'm not touching it. Um, I will be AFK here for at least five minutes after you do something quick. Yeah, no worries. I got I got the homie under. We can always converse, so we're good. Yeah. No stress. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're just vibing. Uh, so I guess now that I've attuned enough of my mountain top, I'm gonna deactivate my attunement here, and I'm gonna activate and tune my mountain top now. All oh, right, Yo, did Ender, I say that? can you can you emote with me after, just so I don't get killed? I'm like away from my keyboard. Oh, is that gonna keep you in the uh, the area? Dying. Yeah, you most usually want like that. Get back yeah, when you emote somebody, I think uh, it keeps you in there. I don't even I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'll just I'll just keep my bounties for on a shape because this at this point because they don't even update the like there's no point in even using your your bounties on shacks because once you've hit the max, you, you, there's nothing else you can do. Uh, you don't need to you don't need to deactivate attunement. I think attuning to something deactivates a previous attunement. Oh, okay, because I, I wanted to specifically just focus on mountaintop. That's why I just uh, deactivated the the one on on the coup. Ooh, sticky grenades, overflow, and vorpal on mountaintop. Hmm. Uh, well, overflow isn't too bad because I'll be always picking up special ammo, so that's definitely good. Vorpal could be good, actually. This is more PVE for sure. I'll keep this. This just means I'm not going to run out of my ammo for this weapon. So I'll lock this one in there. Okay, so that's one decent mountaintop. Plus my impulse and adrenaline, so that's two so far that I can keep in my uh, my locker. I'm gonna try and go for about five or six, just for the review purpose. I'm not gonna go too deep. Oh, I got a shiny. Is there a goal you're looking for? Um, that's a good question. Let me let me hit up the foundry. I never actually thought to myself what I'd want but now that you reminded me I think I'm gonna go to check it out uh let's see mountain top what do I want ambitious oh auto loading could actually be good here auto loading and ooh Okay, there, there's some interesting perk combinations I never thought about. So auto loading and recombination can be interesting. Since if it's if I do let's say if I shoot off I think in my brain, like if I do one shot with embedded, I get a final blow. And recombination kicks in, right? Is that how it works? Yeah. But, but it also applies for any elemental kills, including ability. Ooh, so even if I, let's say, melee, it still counts too, right? Yes, if, you, if you're using a, a powered melee that has that elemental thing. Mm hmm. Okay, then that's actually not bad. 
Let's see what damage perks we get. So we have a 50% increase impact damage once I max it out. Uh, elemental kills grant one stack a recombination maximum of 10 stacks each stack additively increases the damage of the next shot by 10 percent okay so auto loading in recombination is not bad i might try and go for that one for pve pvp though i'm not necessarily a gl specialist in pvp so i can't really say that i know much in that area Let me think here. I think I'll go with smart drift control, sticky grenades, auto loading recombination, or smart drift, sticky, auto, and adrenaline junkie could be actually really good. Or even rampage. Ooh, rampage could be nice. Okay, I'm going to roll for... I'm going to try and get that. I'm going to try and go for auto loading and rampage or auto loading recombination. Or auto loading adrenaline. Just as long as I auto load, I think I'm okay. Less to think about. I think there's definitely a uh, a realm that harmony is is a good pick in this for PvP. Ooh, okay. Elaborate. I'd love to hear it. Oh, twenty percent extra damage when you just get a a kill with another weapon or anything like that is pretty nice. So if you run auto loading right mm -hmm. and harmony, what you can do is you can shoot them with mountaintop get them weak and then switch off to your secondary and then or your primary rather and then clean up the kill with that and then when you switch it back you have a 20 percent damage buff plus 15 handling Ooh, ooh, that's actually that's a good combination for pvp hmm i am a harmony fan <laughs> i can tell yeah i mean you you definitely brought up a good point though it's just more of the the quick swapping element that i have to get used to but i think that's that's probably going to be pretty second nature after a few attempts we have to act yeah Red Legion is Ooh, okay you know what i'm gonna roll for that then that's actually a good insight all right let me do that right now so i'm gonna i'm gonna aim for auto loading harmony auto loading recombination and then auto loading an adrenaline junkie or no sorry auto loading and rampage since i feel rampage is a bit easier to do not that adrenaline junkie is bad in fact i think it's probably easier um yeah because if i get a grenade kill i get my five stacks back right away so if i kill with moth keepers that's already a an immediate buff Let's see here, and this gives me 33%, 33.5% damage for Adrenaline. Uh, Rampage gives me 33.1%. So technically, Adrenaline's better by just a slight margin. Yeah, and I get plus 20 handling on top of that anyway, so the handling can actually be of great merit. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll go for Adrenaline instead. So I'll go auto-loading Adrenaline, auto-loading Harmony, auto-loading Recombination. And I'll see if I can try and grab those. Those will be my top three. And then I'll keep my overflow Vorpal for PvE. I mean, I guess combination-wise, I'll keep everything for both. Let's Prage. Let's Prage and hope that I get something good. Oh, how much do I have now, trophy-wise? Well, I have 66, so I'm good. So I have six attempts to grab something good for... Mount of uh, Recluse, okay. Not what I wanted, but... Ooh, wait a minute. Dynamic Sway and Desperate Measures. Do I already have that, though? I think I already have that. Dynamic Sway, Desperate Measures. Master of Arms. Dynamic Sway, Master of Arms. Feeding Frenzy. The Detector. Target Lock. Surrounded dynamic sway. I guess I don't have it. Okay, never mind. I shut up. I guess I'll put that away because that's a pretty decent roll. Okay. All right, let me keep rolling then. And after I'm done with this, we'll go back and try legendary. Okay, sounds good. Mountaintop. Ooh, I was so close to getting what I wanted, but it. 
Spike grenades, lead from gold, rampage. It's not bad though. Hello, hello. Hold oh, one second, guys. One sec. That's me. Every new threat, there's a new cadre of guardians to forge. What do you need, guardian? I've got a moment. Crucible gets harsher every day. It has to. I make sure of it. Crucible gets harsher every day. It has to. I make sure of it. What's going on out there? Talk to me. Buddy. Sorry about that, folks. One of my one of my housemates is is leaving, uh, going back home to Germany. So I had to just give him a big hug, tell him all the best. That's exciting. Oh yeah, uh, he was here for quite some time, and we had a good time together. We we had a lot of great conversations and great laughs, and it was nice, good company. So it's uh, a bit sad to see a, a good a good person go, you know. Mm -hmm. It's always one of those moments, but uh, you know, that is that is life. Sometimes you just gotta have to accept the fate. But if fate rewards us, we'll see each other again. Absolutely. So, it's uh, all about the right mindset. I always think to myself, no one really ever leaves. They're just taking a long vacation, but they'll be back. Crucible gets harsher every day. It okay, let me invite you, Jay. My I bad. I just came back, so I didn't see if you invited me earlier. Oh, I interrupt a lot, so better way of paying your attention <laughs> it's all good no problem okay midnight coup what role is this uh in land action one for all it's not what i wanted yeah i'm gonna delete that Crucible gets i already have my good roles for midnight coup now i just want my i make sure i want my mountaintop i want a shiny version actually that, that's gonna be my my goal i want shine Ooh, i think i got what i wanted Overflow and Adrenaline Junkie with Sticky Grenades and Smart Drift. Okay, I'll take this. I'm locking. Do you have to do the Guardian part to get 30 kills in the Guardian? Uh, it's like an either or. You can you can choose Whoa. to. Yeah, you don't have to do it. So, I wouldn't worry too much. Thankfully. Yeah, thankfully. Otherwise, I would have not uh, been playing this mode. Lied. Doing that for yeah, that combination. Same thing with Tikus. It was the same formula where you had to do. Yeah, I didn't even bother for that one. I was like, oh, never gonna get this done. And this ain't no way I'm gonna bother with that. But I did it. Funny enough, I did it. But it was just a super, super arduous ordeal. In PvP, I feel like it's hard to use that gun. Yeah, Tikus was the biggest challenge for me because you literally have to do extra work. You have to shoot not only your first hip fire shot yeah, to yeah, auto track. Yeah, yeah. You have to make it like a, a two shot kill. Yeah, and it's just not a fun ordeal to try and get two shots and someone's one shotting you from behind with a shotgun. Never fun. Oh man, I'm getting some pretty decent picks now. Recombination with lead from gold is not bad either for PvE. So I'm gonna lock I that. I just one. can't join there because uh, apparently it's full. The oh. all of champions. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Let me just uh, do my last pull here, and then I'll I'll, op I'll go back to the, uh, the orbit. Oh, never mind. That was my last pull. All right. Uh, let me. Orbit this, and then we'll head over to Legend. 
Are you good pulls wise, Ender? Do you want to, you know, spend time pulling? Or are you, or are you right? Oh no, I'm chilling. We're good. Okay, cool. All right, so let me invite you again there, uh, Jay. No, no, I have the invite still. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, you can join now if you want. It's pretty interesting. If if you accept the invite and you can actually join the fire team, it doesn't Stay consume there. the invite. It just tells yeah. you, nope, can't do it. As you said before, that's bungee. <laughs> that's typical bungee practice. Yeah. <laughs> Can't really what, are we, what are we gonna do now? Legend or normal? Yeah, we're gonna do legends. Okay. Because I mean, we 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 literally cruised through that. Like we were literally having a conversation the entire time. I felt like I was playing, I don't know, some random vanguard or something. <laughs> it was. It didn't honest, feel like. Uh, Ender was our medic the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he was the invis hunter. It helps. It is tether. my lot yeah. in life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tethering is hunters so. Are, hunters are good medics too, for reviving and all that. Yeah, they're good emergency. Like in in a pinch, you need someone to be alive and they're dead somewhere. Like just go send the hunter out there. He'll he'll get it done. Yeah, Absolutely. the warlock without the well. <laughs> GG. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Nothing well about that one. <laughs> Unless if you're running like a a void build where you can just like go in viz, then I guess you're good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna run the same build because I I mean, we literally just scooped that build up. So, or we scooped that run up. So I think whatever we're running now should work technically. Again. This is a gauge of pure um, combat potential. But you know what? I'm not going to speak too early. Let's just try our best to go as far as we can. I'm not going to tell me I missed that shot. These witches, though, are really annoying. Oh well, exactly. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so the strat for this particular map, I think we're gonna go with decoys again, so... I'm gonna invest in decoy right in front of Jay. I'm gonna hold off for a little while. Go for it. Yeah, I think having somebody to, to be the, the hoarder early game, I think is gonna be effective. I just want to try and get at least one decoy up because uh, in the in the event that we have a tormentor, having that up is going to be really really imperative. Yeah, we get one in the beginning. Yeah, so they come from the right hand side now. And if there is a Tormentor and we need to run away, um, I'll be the one to run because I have Amplified, so... Okay. Alright. battery over here also if there are if there are batteries that are too far from us i'll also run after them because i can just speed up oh. what happened there i don't know heavy ammo that sucks Ooh, I just got zapped by the ogre. He just teleported in in front of me. I'm back in two seconds. Remind me to bring you along the next time I feel. That was crazy how I just got zapped. 
Oh, we got the witches. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in the star right now. There you go, nice. Where's that? Another one. Yep. In front of us. I'm done. No. Yep. They're just gonna hoard us. Yeah, I'm gonna put my super down here. I'm getting the one on the other side. Okay. Oof. I guess I wasn't in a well. Yeah, there's, there's... I thought there was a well there, though. Oh, uh, I don't have one yet. I almost. Oh, I just keep getting bamboozled by the uh, the ring, man. That's what it is. Yeah, I know. It looks like a well. I have one now back here. Oh my gosh. Ain't no way. Yeah, we're done now. Though. We're safe, though. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, we're... We're pretty safe for now. Uh, I've got 20, 2300, so I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna keep stalking until I get 4,000 for a decoy. Oh, perfect, Jay. Nice. Yeah, that was useful because all the thrall were going towards it. Yeah, the one on the right hand side Those is guys so are annoying. Yeah, yeah I'm really... gonna get that one too. Okay. Afterwards, we can just keep healing the, the decoys with the batteries. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, watch out for the ogre again. my super down there just to block them off. Even though there's only one, but I'm not taking any chances. Yeah, those beams are dead too. Yeah, man, those things can just one-shot you. I'd rather just take them out one time. Okay, I gotta be on alert for that. Again, yeah, that's bad. Okay. Oh. Oof. Okay, it's fine. Hit this so crazy. Right, no. We should be alright to grab that. Okay, I'm gonna grab you in a second there. One sec. Is there anything else we have here we need? No, I think we're good so far, yeah? This is a gauge right. of pure think... combat potential. Perfect. Make me proud. Okay, I'll go to the right hand side. That was speedy. I got my super perfect. All the super there, just to block, just to get ads out of the way. Absolutely, and I'll get. I'm. I'm I basically already have mine again. Nice, excellent. Just to give Jay some space to move in. Excellent. Very nice stuff. Okay, I'll buy this one here. Uh, okay, perfect. I, I should have enough. Yeah, I got 4,300, so I'm gonna buy that. Awesome. So I'm gonna save up again. So you have two strong decoys. Yeah. Well, I have 
have them up to check soon. Perfect. Yeah, this one on the right hand side, this one's gonna be our, our MVP. And they are spawning on the right. Yeah, they are spawning on the right. So this is a test for Shax. <laughs> his own crucible. If you... yeah. <laughs> yep, his own crucible, exactly. I'm trying to run in here. I'm, I'm a bit more aggressive here. I just want to gather some resources. Wouldn't normally do this, but... Bonus challenge? Oh, we got an eyeball. Okay, I got him. One more up top in the, the main area, too. Okay. Yep. Down Perfect. Down. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, come on. Trying to grab you if I can. <laughs> this one seems to care about Shax too much. Yeah, they're definitely running past him. Oof, oh wow, the eyeball is literally just respawned. I thought I we had... no ammo for it. Yeah, there's two more. Yeah, I, I have, um... I got one. Yeah, I'm just behind you there. I can probably try and take him out. My well is there almost you. done. Okay, good. Good timing. I'm trying to get this point here. Okay, I'm gonna put my super down here. Just to block off, uh, the area. We got heavy. Okay, perfect. I'm going for heavy now. Yeah, grab the chest. Yeah. Carrier knight in front of us here. Nice. Aggressive guardian. Very nice. Have an instinct for battle. All right, we're stabilizing. Yeah, stabilize, stabilize. I'd say that uh, in spite of a little bit of hiccup there, pull out for the. Oh, oh, big guys, big guys. Yeah, for the big dudes. We got one guy who's about half. Oh, okay. Oh, that stupid banner, man. Oof. Okay, they're actually staying really busy on shacks, which is good. Nice job, nice job. Excellent work. Got to the second pyramid, so that's good. I'm just gonna double check on things before we go inside. Gather resources if I can and some orbs. Uh, so nothing here. Nope, okay. Best your opponents and right, survive. Come with y'all. Victory is a matter of will. Oh, boss time now. Yeah, boss time, alright. So I'm gonna swap off to... Doomed again. Oh, is it a... Just for the orbs. Oh. Interesting. So oh. you guys get orbs. Oh, okay. Are you ready? No, you have your armor chargers. Oh, true. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay. I'm gonna pop my super in three, two, one. Oh, we got those orbs. Yep. Yeah, backing away now. Throwing a uh, grenade. He's 
stay. Yeah. Nice. Nice Good job. Stuff. Very nice. Very, very nice. The loser focusing, and it's a happy day. Yep. Absolutely. Precision I is the decision. On that one, but it's it before we before we get overwhelmed, uh, just give me two minutes before we go through here. Yeah. Okay. By all means. I won't collect the loot then, because I think the loot rocks the the old portal, so. What I got here. I'll take these off. Hope you folks are enjoying the stream, by the way, though. I know today's just been a been an onslaught day, but again, today's a big day because I want to I want to just farm for a mountaintop. I want to try and get the best shiny I can on it. Right now, I have not received any shinies, so it'll be my my goal today, or at least this week, to try and gather them. Uh, actually, let me just double check. Oops. Uh, where is Mountain Top? At the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any shinies. Thus, no way. I have one shiny. One for all. Lead from gold is the shiny. Oh yeah, that's the um, the curated roll you get from Shax when you first got the uh, challenge completed. Right, right. Okay, so in that case, I'll probably just keep it in the dim. I'll just take a one, and I'll keep rolling until I get another shiny with double perks. That's going to be the the one I look out for with the ones I was looking for, perk wise. Hopefully, we get it here. Who knows? We might just get it in this drop. That'd be pretty nice. That would be that would be excellent. You ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see what I get. I got mountain top. Another shiny. But what roll did I get? Sticky grenades, shiny. ambitious, and harmony. Ooh, that's not bad. Sticky. Ooh, that's actually. You know, I'm keeping this one too. It's not a bad roll. What's on this one? The Midnight Kook. Okay, let me put this away. I have to refresh in one sec. And take some time. Can I grab it? Still can't grab the coup. Weird. Is your is your special? Secondary weapons full, the energy ones. Uh, yeah, I think I just had to. Yeah, there we go. I had to take out one of my mountain tops. Outlaw oh, rampage. Yeah, your is packed. yeah, my inventory is getting stocked up. Ooh, this is not bad either. Outlaw rampage. Okay, I'm locking that one for midnight coup. I got a lot to test out in PvP later on. My goodness. Yeah, nice. Outlaw rampage was the OG role when there was no. Random rolls. Oh really? Yeah. Well then that's a that's a win for me then. I believe it was Outlaw Rampage and Ambitious Assassin instead of Outlaw is what you could change uh, change it to. Ooh, okay. And I guess I'm cooking. I have no complaints. Right, I'll wait till I'll wait till Dim loads up. Uh because it's being a bit slow. I'll put a wither horde away. We'll need that. Uh, what else am I not using right now? I guess Mida I'll keep in there. Okay, I think we're all fine. Sweet. Let's keep, let's keep going. Let's hit wave 11. Let's do it. All right, and I have 3685. And where is it? Wait, are we left or right? Oh no, we're here on this one. Okay, cool. All right, so. 36. I'm gonna go for the decoy. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. And that nice. should cover. That actually worked out great because you had like 100 and enough, right? Yep. Exactly. Smart move. Same wavelength right I mean, there. You can still benefit from that one over there too. Oh yeah, the gold shacks. Yeah. Spawn that type. Very true. Yeah, where Jay is. That couldn't help us. 
The only problem is spawning behind us is the only caveat now. I'm just gonna super here in this toe point. That way they push us, they can't. Oh yeah, we actually have some pretty good setup. We have the purple shacks down the street, or the purple decoy down the street, on the other end, so... again so I'm gonna have to utilize my special command. Good nice. stop. There he is. Nice. Uh-oh. I uh, know, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's take him to the shacks. Let's take him to shacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna try and get him over here. Ooh. Oh, make sure watch out, watch out. Yep, yep, yep. I'm really trying to stay alive here. I'm gonna try to stop these guys from reading things. Ooh, I don't, know how, I don't know how I survived that, but I survived somehow. I'm getting the witches done though. The witches are the most uh, annoying. I can right, he's on shocks. Now we can stay away and just get them down. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna stay on the other side. ADU. He's going down hard. Okay, yeah, ADU is. If y'all need the ADU help, then I'm um, coming over. Oh yeah, we are red alert here. We gotta hurry up. Ooh, if I just... Oh, how did you hit me from the wall? What? How did you... you learn from this. Oh, man. Come oh, back the... and fight again. How did... Nah, I was gonna say, how did that witch hit me from behind the wall? It must have been like... Maybe input lag? I'm not too sure. Go try it again though. That was actually a good run. Hey, no worries, Jack. It's all good, brother. Welcome back, by the way. Oh, we could have definitely gone further than that, I'll be honest. Yeah, they, yeah. they just, the witches, they overwhelmed the ADU. Yeah, yeah. And there's a little bit a little bit far, in my opinion. I was too far to go back to Ender because I was so occupied with the um, the hive trying to come at me. Yeah, the tormentor was a big distraction on that one. Yeah, very much so. I'll lead away the tormentor because I I I just went over there and I had just hid, and I was taking care of the witches too on that side. That's a good call then. Yeah, we can try that. I didn't think the ADU was going to get that overwhelmed. Yeah, like where we were, because I was literally right where you were, Jay, where I saw the Tormentor, yeah. and I was on the far left to keep him engaged, and then I heard Ender go down, so I had to dash over there, but when I dashed over there, I saw all the wow. witches. I'm like, what the heck is going on over here? They basically came on round 11. Yeah, so we got to be more proactive, I guess, when that round hits us again. Oh, wow, I just got slapped in the face. Hopefully you enjoy your dinner, though, Jack. Don't worry about me, I'm back in two seconds anyway. Alright.
Alright, so I guess game plan, depending on where these things spawn again. Uh, let's see, this is mostly turret land, so I might... I'm gonna save this round, so that way I can go for the decoy up, up at the top. In the event Tormentor comes through on another respawn, that tor that uh, decoy can actually help us. Are you guys saving too, I imagine? I'm saving yeah, man. until around 11. Okay, yeah, that makes logical sense. I'm just like gonna try to go off on these 10 rounds, so we don't need anything. Very true, yeah, because I think once we hit 10, we should be cooking. We cooked all the way to level 10, no problem. Let's grab this. Oh. One more heavy left. Great tether. Okay. He's wow. here already. Alright. Um, I'm gonna lead him away. RNG. Lead him to me. Just I'm gonna... take him right here. Okay. I'll take a different angle then. I'll super him. I'm just in the, I'm in the choke point just so that he can focus me and walk over. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm kind of weak here, but I'm, I'm leading him away from... Boy here. He's here. Oh, be back again? Okay. Yeah, I died. Okay, that's fine, no worries. Should be dead shortly. Couple more pinches here. Dead. Refresh here. Good work, boys. Okay, I got 4,500, so I'm gonna stock up on that decoy up above. Just, just to be safe. Just yeah. one. Yeah, just one. What the? There you go. Okay, I've got 1,086. I'm, I'm saving up. I'm not gonna touch this now. Left-hand side, I guess. Yeah. Ogre on oh, the back. Yeah, I've got the ogre coming through. I slowed him down. He's frozen. Nice. Both ogres gone. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Now they're all gone. Special ammo, so I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit behind here. I'm just gonna try and gather resources. I'm gonna go from behind on choke, take him out from behind here. 
Oh, never mind. You guys did it already. Uh, yeah, I think bonus would be good. Yeah, I need heavy anyway, so. Perfect. Backing off here? Yep, same. I'm gonna pick up heavies because I need them. You got about 13 seconds left on the clock for heavies if you need it. Got it. Yeah, I'm going in here. Need to grab the these batteries. Oof, okay, I'm, I'm actually pretty weak from backing up. We got a barrier in front of us here. Dead. Very nice. And that's the portal. That's portal. Let's go. Best your opponents and survive. Okay, wait for you guys. Victory is a matter of will. Okay. I'll cover. Actually, you know what? I'll go with Jay. Nice. I think I have it. So I'll just try and run through. A bit weak here. I'm just gonna fall back a little bit just to heal. You're good. Okay, perfect. All right, done. Thank you. You obliterated them. I love it. All right, so we are now. Uh, let's see. Inventory-wise, I have 30, 13, no, 3,016. Sorry. I've got 65 still. Well, 6,500 that is. 65 would be really bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> that's that's more than enough. Yeah, I guess you'll hold that for like the next run, right? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm keeping an eye out for um, eyeballs if they ever do pop up. I got super ready too, just in case. I'll cover this choke point. Jay, you're doing a pretty good job back there. We're just gonna speed wave, that's nice. Yeah, perfect. That should be pretty straightforward. Enemies on the right too, watch out. Okay, I got super for that. In the event they run over here, I'll be ready. You wait for them to get in between these two buildings before you throw that down. Okay, gotcha. That'd be ideal. Perfect. We'll do. It's like just wide enough to cover that street. Very good point. Okay, which is uh, right in front of us here, but we should be good. Dead. Which behind us? Dead. Oh, is a uh, barrier. Okay. Got him. Oh, thought I had him. Missed my shot. Okay, breaking barrier now. Very nice. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That was a fat finger, my mistake. Did not want to press my super no there. Worries. I want to press my I ability. To bring you along the next time I feel like okay, I should be able to get my that's super back. Great. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the the ogre on A. It's half yeah, I'll, life. Yeah, I'll protect the base. Okay. 
best I can. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Ogre done on A, by the way. I'm in about. Okay, A is done. I'm gonna speed over to B. Ogre is now done. That'd be... Thanks, Jay. Appreciate that. Alright, both are done. Perfect. And that was wave 10. Let's go. And now I'm going to collect my heavy. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm good on heavy for now, I think. I should be alright. Yeah. We'll save that box for when we come back. We're about to have a, um... We're oh, you know, what you call it. Yeah, there, that's the word I'm looking for. What was it? This is a game Rally flag. Combat oh, yeah, boss, yeah. Make me proud. I'm fully stocked on my, my butter for my super, but I might need to just get another refresh on my doomed. All right, let me know when you're ready. All right, I'm good. Cool. Which boss is it? Uh, I believe it's Mech or no? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, it's a little bit far up. Yeah, I'm gonna stay back a little bit here. Yeah, I'm just, uh, being... Okay, I only have about eight shots left in the, the dooms here. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. Uh, he's targeting me now, so I gotta be more careful. Oh man, I just got pegged by that. He shot me through the pillar. How does that work? That's what I'm saying, right? It's so... Ooh. Can't afford to take too many risks here. And that witch is making it very difficult for me. I'll be up. I'm up. You're up? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get Ender up too. Okay, I'm gonna take care of this witch. This witch is actually... Thorn in my backside. Yeah, I'm gonna collect this. You can take that and drop it off. Yeah, yeah. Grab that and bring it back to where uh, Jay is. Yeah. That should knock off a bit of health. In fact, probably kill it, I imagine. Oh. Quarter life, not bad. Okay, I'll, I'll try and pick you back up very soon. Okay, I've got my super ready to. Okay. I got super in about, uh, yeah, I got my super here, so I'm gonna probably burn it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna burn it. Okay, right in his head. I'm Should up. not. Don't worry, you don't have to get me. I'm okay. Good. All right. Should be dead here, though. Should be all right. A few more bullets to the head, and we should be all right. Perfect. Good stuff. Grab all my ammo and my orbs I before we leave. Myself, is that a miniature suck? But no. All right, right back to where we were. Raining light on your opponents. I love it. Let's just pray we don't get that same tormentor again with the, you know, onslaught of Luckily witches. It's done since he came in the beginning. True. Very true. Good call on that. Okay, I'm gonna check out. Hold on one sec while I delete the succession. Of course, it moved us. Okay. Uh, no shiny for mountaintop. Oh well. Maybe next time. Alright, coming. Alright, so now we can cook. I have... I have 5570, so I can probably just go with decoy to the same right-hand side. This guy's purple. One more for this one to be shacked up on the right-hand side. Nice. 
Oh, man. That's fine, yeah. It's fine. We have one. That's good enough. Proficient. Oof, that's scary. Yeah, I got super ready too, just in case. But I think for now we should be alright. Let's grab these orbs, or batteries rather. Nice, excellent stuff. Grab some specialists here. Everyone's blinded, so they're not moving very fast. I got a barrier in the middle. Yep. I'm gonna blind them. Done. Very nice. Gotta go for that heavy all the way over there. Yeah, go for it. I'll try and watch your back if I can. Uh, I'm gonna go for the, the splinters. We can get some heavy ammo resource. There you go. I'm pretty low on heavy here, so I'm gonna call make the call now. I'm gonna grab heavy, so if you need it, you get about 14 seconds. Alright, here we awesome. go. I'm gonna pop super. One behind us too. Okay. Yeah, he's focusing on Yeah, you know what? While he's focusing, I'm gonna actually you guys kill him, I'm gonna focus on him. Or right, the other guy. Little him down. Yep, yeah, dead. Okay, I got 3k on me. I'm gonna go finish up shacks over here. Gotcha. I'm gonna save till next round. Get those turrets up, if anything. I think these two should be enough. I don't think we need a decoy in the middle here. Those two shacks no, are... because that's just a huge stroke point for us. We'll from that. Oh, yeah. Tether down there and nothing goes through. Absolutely. Splinters for us. Alright, so now we're heavy up. Got super ready too, just in case. Back to you. Barrier Knight. Okay. I'm gonna drop this. My someone's to my left, I believe. Yeah, I see him. Go for him. All right. Very nice. Excellent. All right. I'll do some last-minute collecting. 
before we go into the pyramid. I'm gonna I'm gonna save the uh, heavy box because there's some heavy bricks around me. So. Yeah, I'm fine on that, Mo. Okay, perfect. Let's jump in. Execute all targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. Oof, yeah, I'm, I'm hit pretty hard here. Oh, and good save, good save. Okay, I've got left. Oh, fat fingered again. Oh my goodness. I'm always fat fingering my, my class ability. Oh, I'll get it back next round. Nice. Okay, I'm throwing a nade. Find them all. I'm gonna try and freeze up ahead here. Nice, excellent. Nice. Very nice. Love it. All right, same spawn point too, which is perfect. So now but that I'm... was only wave uh, sixteen. Oh, that was. I wasn't even yeah. thinking the wave. That was a breeze for us. We're yep. going into the ship next time for our boss. Okay, I'm gonna buy this turret. Just to have one there. I'm gonna I've start got... saving up for the next area here. Okay, yeah, I got 3396, so whatever I have here, I'm just gonna save up. Uh, I'm gonna grab this heavy brick just to my left. I'm gonna try and dive in from behind. And also grab some heavies while I'm at it. See if we can try and take them out. Oh, never mind. They're all gone. Uh, they are coming from behind though. Yep, they're responding. Witch is coming through. Got two witches on my part. I'm gonna back away a little bit. A little bit overwhelmed here. I'm trying to cover the switch here. Yeah, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh, there's another one. There's about three of them. I'm just gonna throw my super down here. There's a barrier knight too there. Barrier should be oh, dead. Nice super placement. Yeah. Really good. Thank you. Now I'm just gonna restock here. Plenty of orbs run here. Uh, so we got a few more. We have uh, a couple knights where I am. Just gonna back up a little bit. Sweet loading my canoe here. Okay, I'm gonna try and grab the battery if I can. Oh, by me, by me. By you? Okay. Uh, I'm covering base, by the way, so we got, a, we got a few on base here that I'm trying to keep keep track of. I might, I might die here. I'm a little bit weak. Who's on base? Okay, I'm gonna try and restock here. I'm on base by myself, solo. Okay, no worries. Grabbing heavy for myself. Okay, wonderful. Four seconds here on this one. All right, we should be good. Um, five seconds left on the clock for heavy in case you need Perfect. it. Great timing. Got it. Awesome. <laughs> Jack is saying, geez, yeah. It's definitely getting, getting to that point. But 
Should be alright. Alright, boss wave. Let's go. Uh, let me just do some double checks around here for anything. Uh, item wise, brick wise. Oh, there's a heavy brick there. One sec. I need it. And I'll grab an orb too. Alright. And I'm good to go. And we are, I think, about 75% this is a gauge in terms of health on the, uh, the ADU, so... Make me proud. We're still if good. If we rotate to another place, it should go back to full. Oh, perfect. Okay. And that's good. Let's hope that happens then. Season rank 355? Yeah, I've been... <laughs> Let's just say I love Destiny 2 a lot. I love Destiny 2 a lot. Yeah, I had max ammo. I, I just like to double check. I'm like, I'm very, very peculiar with those things. Yeah, it's gonna be very aggressive, so watch out. Yep, I'm gonna throw super in his face. Great tether there. I'm staying behind, by the way. I'm gonna play behind the pillar. Uh, we could play for the capture zones to get more reinforcements, but it's really up to you guys. No, I think we'll just burn him. Okay. Okay, I've got about three left in the slot here for my dooms. So well as I would all back. Oh thanks. Okay, he's moving to the he's moving around, rotating. I'm gonna move around. Yeah, I'm gonna move back a little bit. Just be careful, Lender, he's right behind you. Capture, actually. Oh we yeah. have one right here on us. Yeah, just be careful, they'll be right, right on you. Yeah, he was up over there. I'm gonna blind. I'm going to the blind grenade again. Okay, we should we should be good here. Alright, play slow. Alright, perfect. Nice Done. Yep. Looks like work. And I got super back for the next phase, so we should be alright here. Let me so much grab fun. some more special bricks and some orbs. Not that I really need them, but all right, let's go. Let's see what loot I get. Do I get a shiny today or what? Do I get a shiny? No shiny mount top. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Flick draw, recombination with stickies. Uh, do I really want that? One second while I refreshed him. Nah, you're really not gonna want to. Okay, so just delete, delete that one? Yeah, the slick draw is nice for more PvP focused things, but like the reduce to your target acquisition is kind of a bummer. Oh, wait, does it still do that though? I'm not even too oh, sure, no. but it's too late now. I've already deleted it, so... <laughs> yeah, it's still not what you want for that roll. Ooh, but I know what I will want. Overflow Rampage? I'm keeping that one, though. That one I will keep. As a matter of fact, I actually don't mind running double special here, but... You know, for the sake of safety, I think I'm playing pretty solid now, so I'm not going to change too much of my uh, loadout. Oh, it just spawned me all the way back over here again. Hmm. Let me get this middle one. Go for it. I'm uh, gonna go for the same yeah. shack strat. I'm gonna go to the right hand side, grab this decoy. And there you go. So one on the right should be purple, and then we should be smooth for shacks. Because we have gold shacks down the street. We have purple. Purple. Oh yeah, we were cooking. Great tether, great tether there. Uh, 
I need to swap off my uh, my weapons here. Yeah, overflow rampage is pretty good. Yeah, I can't complain with that. A lot of them coming from choke over here. I'll take care yeah, of them. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna die in a split second, but I'll save myself. Oh, nice. All right, you know what? I'm doing it. Keep them at bay. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. I'll grab these notes. Okay, so heavy should be available for us. I'm gonna grab one. Uh, 13 seconds left on the clock, just so you know. Got super back again, just in case. Ogre's coming upstairs. Pretty big ogre too. I've got him on me, distracted. And I'm dead. But he has my attention, so you could probably... Eliminate him. I have unstoppable. I care of him. I'm back in 14. He's dead. Nice, very nice. Perfect. And our ADU has never been touched. Still in full health. Okay, I'm gonna cover, uh... Ooh, this sucks. Okay, there's a star. I'm gonna have to work on this witch. In front of me here. Yeah, poor placement. Alright, which behind the ADU is gone? Excellent. Okay, that worked out. Yep, worked out wonderfully because last time we had the Tormentor there, but this time no. Don't say it. The game's oh. gonna hear. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to use reverse psychology. Come on, Tormentor, <laughs> come now, come on. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let me see what else is around here. I've got 3240, so I'm not touching anything. I could upgrade another one of these guys. I could do this guy up. All right, yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. That's a that's a triple shack. We get a lot of guys coming here. Yeah, I think we'll be all right then. I mean, with that that many decoys, I don't think we're. Yeah, we have all this shack. Oh, the JD, you're amazing. Yeah, we're not then touched. This last one on the on the right hand side, that that should be a confirmed dub. Okay, I'm gonna throw super down. Just in case. Uh, we got two more coming from the left hand side. I got you. Oh, sorry. That's okay. No worries. No worries. We had the same, same mindset there. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Poor decoy. Our decoys are cooking right now. None of them are. I think one of them is blinking. Yeah, the one at the bottom is blinking, but we can fix that. Okay, I'll cover choke. There we go. They're all frozen and choke. Great tether, and I just kill myself. Oh, is that me? No, no, no. It was. It was. Uh, I walked backward, and the pillar just was right in front of me there. Having batteries behind you. Is 
There's a barrier down, yeah. All the way down there. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to go after him. He's in the middle right now, going to the ADU. Okay. Okay, I got you. Good call. All right. There's two pyramid. Do you want to hold off on the heavies then until we come back? Yeah, I'm fine. This isn't the boss wave yet. Okay, cool. All right, let's head in. This is a gauge of what did it do to deserve two supers directly on it? <laughs> yeah, we had to make sure to take care of that. No enemies getting through. Okay, I'll cover, I'll cover right, since there's two of them on this side. Uh, got speed boost so I can zoom through here. Nice tether there. Oof. A little bit here. I might die. Nope. Should be nah, good. you're fine. Yeah, we're good. Excellent work. Very nice stuff. All right, where are we? Oh. All right, put me in the, all the way in the back. <laughs> yep, of course. That's got to be patched. They got to patch that out. I'm sure that's going to be a quick patch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Slam dunk. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely the winning play there. I got 54-16, so after this one, I might just do the last shacks, and then we should be all right. Well, we got uh, four waves until we get a boss. <laughs> Again. Okay, so yeah, I guess it's probably best to save them, huh? Yeah, I would think so. Okay. Ooh, that's rough. I got you. I'm backing away. These explodies are not fun. I'll see the orbs on the floor. What the? Oh, good angle there, Jay. I like your placement there. Playing in that little box room is nice. What the? Oh, we got the witches on spawn? What the? This scared me. One of them just killed me there. And I got no special or special ammo left. Uh, right. go for it. I'm trying to get more special, to be honest. Oh man, I just got blessed by lizard. Okay, I'm gonna try my best here to survive. Right, super safe here. Focus in the uh, the decoy room. Oh, that went way too far for my M. I had the right play there to knock the super in the choke, but. I just went way too far down. Okay, I'm gonna shrink the heavy Um, yeah, I might need it. Let me grab it. Okay, you got okay. the heavy ready? Yep. Should be good. There's an unstoppable coming, by the way. 
try and blind him, slow him down. He's actually taking care of Shaxx down the road, so... Alright, new strat for now. I'm, I'm gonna use the... Yeah, you know what? Don't throw the ADU. I'm gonna heal it. I'm gonna heal Shaxx with the, the ball. I've been doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna try and heal him up here. They're all hoarding. They're all hoarding? Okay, I'm coming back. Oh yeah, I see him. Don't even worry about me, I'm Okay. Okay, super block up choke. Just in case. I got you, I got you. I'll take my chances here. Mm -hmm. Oops, my bad. Blocked the way there. Oop, I am pretty low. Ow, I just got backstabbed by a, by a hive. He's coming back to spawn. ADU. He's sitting on ADU now. Got two of them coming back. Three of them. Ooh, ADU's, ADU's cooking right now. Back in six seconds, but they're they're pretty dead. Oof. Oh no! Oh man. Yeah, there were three of them on. To do next. Yeah, three of them were on spawn there. That's tragic. Yeah, it was very tragic. We were cooking too. We were literally in there. How far did we get we there? Made we made it. Like 29, I think. Wow, that would have been we a went way. Through the portal. If we went through the portal, we would have made it. The portal opened. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. That was the end of the round. That was like the last round and the portal opened too. And that's tragic. That is very tragic, yeah. Run, very good run. That's probably the best we've done for a legend run all weeks uh, combined. So that's excellent job, boys. What was that yeah. almost? What was that, 29 or 30? I'm going to count it as 30. 30 so. I want to count 30 because yeah, yeah, I feel like we... Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, with the portal being open there, that's essentially a 30. It's just, this is a tragic run there at the end. But that's still good, because right. we we were like two level, 20 levels more and then 50, so we would have been able to cook that. Yeah, man. That the next is time. going to be the end of my uh, playtime for tonight, though. Hey, no worries. No worries. Andrew, you did an awesome job tonight. And of course, you know, you're always welcome back sometime during the week if you're yeah, not man. busy. It was a blast. Absolutely. Likewise. Hope you guys have a good time. You too, brother. Get some rest and have fun at work, and I'll talk to you again soon. All right. Have a good one, guys. All right. Take care. Yeah, Jack, you can join in. You can join in on me and, uh, me and Jay. Got two Jays now. Good Jack and Jay. <laughs> yeah. How are I'm you, brother? First. My uh, my internet is not what it used to be. Uh, back like five years ago, my internet right now would be like really high standard, but now it's just horrible. And mm -hmm. the update, uh, Destiny is updating. Oh no! So yeah, how it, how is that going? Like, um, it, I got like I got like six minutes. It's at eighty-seven percent. Okay, we can wait it out. Yeah. Can wait it out. It's no worries. And, well, in, in the meantime, we could, we could talk about uh, exotic combinations. Oh yeah, you've been hungry to talk for about that for a while. Yeah. So since they doubt, they confirmed that Thread the Spectre is one of the aspects you could have. You could absolutely do Radiant Dance Machines, uh, Bombardiers, because if you have two dodges already, it, it, it's already known that there is no cooldown for the Thread the Spectre. Ooh, so you can just do unlimited threaded specters mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just get infinite value or, with yeah yeah and you could have uh uh gambler's dodge and then just keep meleeing what was the possible melees uh you could just keep throwing withering blades and then uh, what you could do is pair that with stylus executioner and then you would go invisible after those 
ki- uh, you get kills with uh, wither uh, withering blade. Ooh. And that that those are two separate builds, though, right? Because the stylish and then the um... no, 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 no. So you would use the gambler's dodge to refresh your withering blade, and your withering blade would make you invisible. And since you're constantly dodging, you would just uh, what you would do is you would to start and proc radiant death machines. You would dodge, then uh, th- uh, throw two withering blades to get uh, to get that kill and keep. Rain dance machines going, then you would go invisible and then dodge again and just repeat and repeat and repeat infinitely. Oh, and that, that includes the threat inspectors too, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. That's actually nutty. Mm-hmm. Damn. Or, or another thing you could do is, uh, I forgot the exotic, but it's the warlock exotic that uh, improves your uh, threadlings. Uh, which basically allows your threadlings to unravel. Oh, I wouldn't know that one. I'm not a warlock guy, so. Uh, one minute. Uh, basically, the idea is you would just do the same thing with bombardiers, but instead you could just make a lot of tangles because the threadlings spawn from the uh, thread specter would uh, make uh, apply a sever or whatever it is. Ooh, so you get a debuff plus you're getting the threadlings from that exotic from that you mentioned? Specter. No, from the thre- thread specter. Oh, from the specter. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you get you get the separate but debuff. It would just make it. Yeah, it would just make it so those threadlings apply that debuff and then make the tangle. That's crazy, because then the tangle can just be additional damage for the explosions. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's one, crazy. One interesting thing that I saw the other day is like I was watching like a by floor video and he had the uh, final shape like vid doc uh, background playing and there was a Titan that uh, like did a thruster dash. Uh, it's uh, his thruster dash thing and it spawned a wanderer tangle, which basically uh, the wander uh, aspect makes your tangles do this like uh, suspend explosion. And I'm like, how did they do that? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they, sh- they showed off a lot of interesting combinations. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, like you said, Bife definitely showed off a few little things there. And I was like, hmm. I feel like Strand's going to be a-, a problem once, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, once Final Shape drops. I just have a feeling they're going to they're gonna amplify Strand like crazy. What other, what other combinations do you have in mind? Uh, I have some. I'm just looking through the uh, for the boots in the compendium. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Uh, swarmers, swarmers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, swarmers. Is that what, what? what swarmers do is when you destroy a tangle, it spawns two threadlings, and threadlings uh, uh, apply unravel. Ooh, okay. That already sounds nutty. So it's it's basically the infinite threatening sort of things uh, shenanigans you can do on warlock just on hunter. Oh, hunter's going to be nutty too. Hunter's going to be nasty with all the combinations you can do. Okay, okay. This is Verity's brow and Nazarak's sin. These Verity's brow increases uh, your uh, uh, grenade damage and your grenade uh regen with kills matching your uh uh your subclass and then uh Nazarak sin getting uh like let's say graviton lance kills gives you uh, uh ability energy ooh okay you're cooking already then just double that and then just the thing is if you add another one of those you could just Okay, what it, uh, I did uh, a run of Vogue uh, like two weeks ago where I got that Vex Smith class mm-hmm. and there was these two people who oh, were uh, using Verity's Brow and they da- out damaged everyone like by 200 million. Oh, wow. Or 2 million, yes, by 2 million. <laughs> 200 million is a lot, but yeah, I know, I know what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew what you meant. That would be- that would be like 
your grenades would be constantly just constant grenades on any class and having grenades would be incredible for for ad clearing especially oh, actually, it, it would have to be void though on any void class hmm i guess because you can take advantage of like tethering and then nading and all that stuff mm -hmm. Nathan, what's okay, up, brother? Uh, another action. Well, uh, we have uh, abyssal extractors, 300% uh, additional base uh, melee and re uh, regenerate, and 200% uh, additional base class and super regen, which is increased supers. Ooh, okay. So that means one, uh, high uptime yeah. of supers then. Uh, 50 per uh, you can get up to max. Uh, Five stacks of death throws, and per stack of death throws, you get uh, an additional uh, fifty percent uh, additional regen and twenty percent uh, increased da uh, grenade damage. Hmm. Yeah. More anything with more grenade damage to me always sounds good because just having uptime mm -hmm. with grenades to deal with all the threats just coming at you mm -hmm. is going to be really impactful. Uh, uh, Verity's brow is also a team support because. I mentioned that two people do that because you can uh, two people can feed each other Verity's uh, uh, Verity's brow second thing, which gives ten times uh, increased uh, regen speed. Ooh, okay. For so, grenade. Also, in invite me, please. So, what are you going to be playing with most of the time? Like, what what's going to be your your go to? Uh, I'm going to try doing an arc thing but then uh if that's not working i'll go to a uh phoenix pro protocol build nice nice what what's leading you to the arc check 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 uh connected on my headphones now okay yeah so what's leading you to the arc like what's what's uh what's making you gravitate towards uh, an arc build for final shape oh not final shape i just i, I thought you were asking me for uh onslaught oh okay yeah i guess onslaught too yeah. but uh, is there anything you had in particular or uh there's Thank you. okay uh i that build i just mentioned with so many grenades uh oh, shall we begin now? honestly slap slapping things around with worm god chris and winter sky was gonna be a blast because you're just gonna be able to be a titan on a, a hunter or a warlock Ooh, that's actually very true. Yeah, let's test it out then. I'm, I'm definitely done to test it with you. Uh, just let me know when you're ready then, and we can just hop in. Uh, yeah, invite me. Okay, it's one sec here while I throw some of my collections oh. into the bin. Chromatic fire, uh, chromatic fire, and what was it called? Names, names, names. That's all good. Uh, chromatic time. fire and uh, chromatic grip, uh, or <laughs> necrotic grip. <laughs> necrotic grip. <laughs> okay, so then you do that with uh, either. Uh, what is it? Either thorn, uh, necrochasm, thorn or necrochasm. Probably thorn, because then more precision. And then you get those elemental uh, explosions, and you're getting that uh, spreading poison. Ooh, all right. I, I hear you. I hear you hooking up. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. I want to see this in action. Oh, 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 oh! That previous thing with that I mentioned Back with Faraday's uh, brow uh, and uh, Nezrak Sin with the pre-order weapon. Mm -hmm. So then you can just keep consuming grenades, keep consuming, and keep shooting those uh empowered fusion shots those grenade fusion shots oh okay and you're talking about um the te the tessellation yeah tessellation yeah tessellation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 that's gonna be nuts yeah tessellation's a really solid weapon too i feel mm -hmm. that people sleep on uh invite me when you can mm. yeah no worries i'm just taking care of some yeah. stuff in the tower all right, let's let's uh, let's run this. Um, where's your name at? There it is. Oh, let's do this. Let's get cooking with Jake. Honestly, most exotics in the game really need a buff to be worth considering. 
Oh, are you talking about like oh. Final Shape stuff or anything, or just in general? Even with the most difficult ciphers, all that is required is the right key. Because I, I will admit, though, there are a lot of uh, exotics that do need adjusting. Well, the in thing general. is, they're not. What they're doing is so, some of the perks is there, great. including the per full perk, but some of them are like only half of them. Like for a Fidian, normally it uh, a Fidian aspect. Normally, it grants uh, increased like plus thirty five reload and handling. For the final shape one, it, it looks like it's only going to give thirty five handling. Hmm. Okay. So basically, what they're doing is like let's say, uh, Jura Falcons. They're going to cut cut out the best part. That makes sure Falcons work. Wait, 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 then... don't start. Don't, oh, don't crap. Start. Okay, my bad, my bad. I'll quit, I'll quit, I'll quit. I should, I should have said something, my bad. They keep going, Jack. Sorry. I. Yeah. Just... Uh, so it's basically ha two, half of two exotics together to make one exotic that is yours or more unique to you. You know? Mm hmm. Yeah, the, the one thing I'm definitely very amped for is um, just the amount of combinations you'll possibly be able to do via the random perks and the exotics. Just farming for those is going to be an interesting way or interesting thing because we might like on, on the surface we have all these great things that we we're thinking about, but then there could very well be like another unknown perk combination that might actually pop off that we never yeah, thought of yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's the one thing i'm looking forward to the most is like the unknowns like all the things that we do know are, are amazing but the unknowns are the ones that i'm really curious about that's what i'm really hyped for oh by the way jay are you ready or oh no okay. Wonder. Just back. I would, I just need five minutes. oh yeah 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 okay. sure, sure all right let me yeah, back yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the... Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Armamentium and, uh, I forgot what the Hunter one is called, but it's the one that gives you, uh, like, uh, resistance while inside. Uh, Renewal Rasps. Oh, Renewal, yeah, yeah, so yeah, with the Dusk have... Fields? Yeah, so you have an another grenade charge. You have two, uh, just instant, uh, no-die zones. Ooh, yeah. Dusk Field too. Renewal Grasps actually is pretty strong in in Onslaught. Really, really good because yeah, you can just sit inside of your dome all day and then you just take minimal damage and then your Dusk Field does all the work for you. Plus you can just slow things and all the other stuff. Renewal is actually really strong. Uh, I, I know you really like the Arc, uh, arc Staff uh the arc staff one the arc staff super yeah 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 roving. yeah, yeah. Oh. so i think you would really like right right in flux with right juice harness oh if that was a combination mm -hmm. oh yeah because you get the both too. yep you get the damage buff with the i think radin's flux right yep yeah that would be disgusting because then i would just and run it all day can... mm -hmm. and then you can deactivate whenever you want with right juice harness and get some of your super energy back exactly yeah so in, in the event that let's say i make a mistake i can just cancel it out and just save whatever i have left and just restock but roaming supers are, are they're so viable they're so good especially now with with onslaught 2 like i would pop off with that combination having the additional damage buff plus being able to cancel it whenever i need to that's to me that's a that's a powerful powerful combo for arc Shinobu, either Shinobu's Ready? Okay. Vow. Yeah, Shinobu's Vow with, uh, what was it? it? It's the one that works with uh, the Hive Boomer Grenade Launcher. Uh, ex Dearest, you're talking about Moth Keepers? Uh, yeah, so you could have, theoretically, three, three moths. Oh, because you're running with ex Dearest... Plus Moth Keepers, plus, plus Shinobu's uh, Vow. 
Uh, yeah, which gives you another gren uh, grenade charge. Or you could just use armamentarium to get that other uh, extra grenade charge. I mean, either way, that both of those are really strong combinations. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Both these actually giving a DPS increase to bows would be a nice start. Oh, that would be nice too. I, like, I'm not gonna lie, Ellie. I haven't touched bows in what feels like eons, man. I haven't touched bows in so long. I'm just like, ain't no way, man. I haven't touched TQs in a minute. I miss that. <laughs> Rip oh, uh, one cool thing about the weapons uh, from uh, the mountain dungeon, I forgot what it's called. You know, uh, the origin uh -huh. trait Sundering is usually, I, I would think, useless, but it actually works on elemental shields. Which one is that? Which dungeon is that, though? Uh, it's the one you're using right now. It's the pocket oh, mountain top. Yeah, no po pocket rocket. Oh, um, uh, indebted kindness. Indebted you mean? Kindness. Yeah. Oh, you think? Okay, you're talking about Warlord's Ruin then. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The okay. thundering is not all of that. Yeah, I think before it wasn't target shields, but or I may have just not noticed, but it's definitely really nice. Oh yeah, I I love thundering. It's it's. It gets the job done when it needs to. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hits, it, hits, it hits the spot, you know? When I need it the most, it comes through. Yeah. And especially on this pocket rocket, my goodness, yeah. This is like my favorite sidearm in the game. Like... Uh, what role do you have? Uh, I have Adagio and Loose Change. So, Adagio just gives me the extra damage. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, what's it called? With loose change, what do I get if it? With had, it? If it had Volt Shot loose change, that would be pretty great. Oh my gosh, um, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely agree on that. I've been trying to farm for that. Even yesterday, me and me, Ellie and Gegman were trying to farm. Well, <laughs> I say farm, but we did like a one run and then done. But uh, I've been trying to, trying to aim for an Indebted for a while to get Volt Shot because that is just such a great yeah. comp. I, I got a god roll with uh, lead from gold bull shot, so pretty, pretty, doing pretty good. Nice, man. Yeah. Anything with bolt shot, especially with indebted, it's just ridiculous. And the sundering, too. Adds so much more value to the gun. I'm going to try and get you, Jay. You're a bit far, though. No, I'm good. But yeah, me, me, Gagman, and Ellie, we just did literally like the fastest Warlord's Ruin run ever. <laughs> like, I was, it felt like literally five minutes. And it's it's oh, only my was... favorite because I don't have Buried Bloodline. <laughs> well, for one, for one thing, I think my bias kicks in because I, I'm a, I'm a huge Ark fan. And this this goes more into my lore and character because I like I like Storm from X Men and Storm is obviously electric and she's my all time favorite character. And the one guy to the left, I'm a little bit trapped here though. I'm in a bad spot. Try to make it over for a while, I would say. I'm trying my best to take care of this demolitionist on the other side. Yeah, four seconds. Okay. Okay, should be done now. Should be good. Uh, I would save up until like wave 15 or something like that. Not really spend. Maybe just a little bit on one decoy. Yeah, that's what me, Jay, and Ender did. We just kind of started saving up because I'm right. I'm right now I'm at four four thousand three hundred. So I might just save until next time. That way, I can just pop the the decoy and then yeah. try and get it to at least a full shacks. Oh, uh, you can use Buried Bloodline on any every sub on every subclass though, and benefit off of Devour. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. I, of course, I, I'm not even I'm not even denying the Buried Bloodline. I'm just my brain is always just in a bias mode for for Arc. But I get you, I get you, because I really do want the BB. I've been trying to farm for that for a. Uh, radar is deceiving me. Okay, I got you. Where are you now, Ajay? Uh, 
Cody's behind. Okay, I got him. You got him? Okay. Okay, I take care of him then. I'll take care of the choke. But yeah, once I get BB. Is coming to watch. Yeah, dude. Once I get BB, oh, I'll definitely think? be. I was, I was gonna say once I get once I get BB, I'm gonna be rocking it alongside. Um, maybe like. All that is on the right. All right. Yeah, I've got. I've got the, as long as I got indebted in BB. Once I get BB, then I'll be happy. Because it'll be, that'll be like the sidearm, uh, set arms that I use a lot more predominantly. That ends cryo. Cryo, cryo for me, I think is one of my favorites as well. Just how effective it is. It's just a small ice cannon in my hand. It's infinite freeze, great way to block off chokes, and. I don't have to worry about having to draw back too much, which is a good thing compared to the likes of compared to the likes of um Burglis. With this I have 13 bullets and I can just aim at your face. Victory is a matter of and I'm good. I feel I just feel less pressure when I use uh cryo versus versus something like Burglis. Not that Burglis is bad. But the consistency I oh. get by shooting. I, I just also like to say I'm running a Fallen Sun Star build, so when I collect Ionic Traces and uh, you're near me, you also get I ability energy. Oh snap! Okay, that's perfect then. Good, good call on that. Yeah, because I'm uh, spamming a lot of arc, and if you're applying Jolden stuff, that gives me more, you know, Ionic Traces, give back more ability energy. Ooh, that's actually super big brain right there. Yeah, because I'm running ionic traces on my fragments too, so I'm also collecting. So that's just non-stop flow of ability energy for for both of us. I've got friends who have ended up preferring indebted over bloodline. To each their own. I think BB is best in slot for what I'm doing with it. For your build, for your tether build, Ellie, I gotta say, when you when you got that in hand, I leave you alone. I leave you alone because when I see you cook with that, I'm like, all right, Ellie, Ellie is good. <laughs> I leave you alone with that one. I just like the I like the utility of Indebted, the fact that it's like a basically like a rocket launcher and a, and a sidearm in one, and it just does crazy damage. And if you have the right perks, you just are destroying everything. Hey, uh, new, do you have Spark of Beacons on? And dear, yeah, I do. Oh, uh, just such a great thing to blind everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm running the blind build. I have... Because Moth Keepers is my favorite um, arm out of arc. So I just... I blind everything. And then beacons. If I use my Volt Shot Grenade Launch for the color blue, that thing is just... No one's seeing anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Arc Soul. Okay. Awesome. Very nice, very nice arc soul there. And the one reason why I like Adagio on this, even though I'd love to have Volt Shot, is just Adagio with the additional pocket rocket potential just makes this hit, hit, hit even harder. And I already have my thing back, right? Right as my uh, arc soul's gonna end. Nice. Yeah, I have my duties back right now too, which is nutty. <laughs> My ability's back already. And I have all these orbs on the floor too, so I'm gonna get my super back. Uh, super it is a, uh, Explody Boy wave. Okay. Uh, Noof hasn't spent too much time. Yeah, <laughs> you know what's funny? Look at this, Ellie. Hold on, let me show you real quick before I go back. Look at this. I, I got it right there, brother. <laughs> You said off stream, and that's exactly what I've been doing. <laughs> off stream, I do, I do, <laughs> I do, I do be testing. I can't even speak. I'm gonna say I do be testing. So my my void, my love for void is still very much there. Just experimenting. <laughs> Doodled in the woodle. <laughs> I can't even speak. 
a barrier. Okay. Uh, I have no special ammo, sadly, so yes. I'm going to have to... Sadly, I have nothing to really help out there. Oh. Oh, dang. I was trying to heal you, man. No worries. Are you talking to... Oh, to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to go around because I need special ammo and I have none. It's the only way I can deal with this barrier. Oh, I stunned him. Okay, nice. I'm going to freeze him. him. Okay, nice. There you go. Right now we're good. To bring you along the next time I feel like oh, okay. Shielded. Okay, we, uh, we can just uh, deal with the uh, knights first, then go after the shielded sky bomber. Yeah, that's probably a good solution. Okay, I got the battery here though. Don't worry about me. So I have no worries. I'm gonna pop my super down. Please don't do. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate the roof. I hate the roof, man. I hate the roof. The edge of the roof literally robbed me. We can recoup though, we can recoup. We just need a lot more, um... Oh, oh god, yes. Yeah, we, we need, need a... I have... Oh, there's special ammo. Yeah. Oh, not enough for anything. I need some batteries though, we gotta get those bats. Okay, hopefully we'll get teleported. Yeah, we got teleported, we're on Pyramid now. Rest your opponents and survive. Victory is a matter That was actually a clutch there. Because now we'll get the reset, so we should be alright. Successfully strand surf for the first time. Let's go, Gegman. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I saw that video. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually a dope new tech. Very, very cool tech. I'm down with that tech. I gotta try and practice it myself. Gotta peep those ass backs and fragments. All right, I'll show you real quick before I go in. I'm just testing things out, but right now I'm running I got with. Five um, seconds. I'm, you're good. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna test out Kefri Sting, and mm. uh, I've got got the Mobius Quiver with Echo of Cessation, Persistence, Leeching, and Instability. So my my. My game plan was enhance my invisibility and then therefore get health regen for uh, for a nearby allies. So basically a support build. And then defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to my void weapons. So every time I use my, I guess, snare bomb is what you do, you do I guess. I don't know. Or vertex grenade. Mm -hmm. And then I just get uh, volatile on all my weapons. So this is more of like a support nade build, hence why I was using Kefri's, because you get the instant smoke bomb with True Sight. Uh, no, one thing that I'd like to mention, the volatile rounds only goes to void weapons. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. So I'd only use things like, like the title, or if I had something like um, Elsie's Bra or Elsie's rifle, for the void. Or you could use uh, Traveler's. Uh... Travel Travel chosen. chosen with the catalyst. Yeah. Yeah. With the catalyst. That was Moses, right? Because you can just swap over to void once mm, you use your class yeah. ability. No, when you throw your grenade, which is even better. Oh, wait, I thought it was you class get ability. The volatile rounds from grenades. Uh, no, that's uh, it's one of the newer perks. Oh, okay. It's one of the newer perks that uh changes it when you use your class ability. Okay. I only I only see you do melee kills with miners and ease activities because snare bomb barely does any damage. Uh, do I have Orpheus and Gear Falcon? Oh yeah, I do. I do, but I'm testing out Kefri's thing because I really want to master Kefri's. Like I, I know the whole tech behind um, 
behind what's it called Orpheus and Gears. But everyone everyone does that, right? Everyone does the, the Orpheus and Gear yeah. Falcon. So I wanted to try something different. So I figured, you know, Kefri is gonna be cool with the instant smoke bomb, true sight, and then plus I have the team support with uh with the fragments I had on. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was, Geo. Yeah, permeability. That's that's what it was. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Also, for final shape, you could uh, do Claws of Ahamkara, which gives you another melee charge with uh, Capri's. So you could just have two snare bombs. Ooh, that's even another one, too. That's a juicy one. Ooh, that's actually kind of dope. And yeah, Ellie, drop that. Drop that video for sure. I'm definitely down to see that because I would love to get a feel for you guys are actually trolling. Dang it. <laughs> I, I want it. He, okay, okay. He started it. I joined in just a second after you moved. <laughs> as soon as I came back, I'm like, why am I so far? <laughs> I knew exactly what was going on. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, that's right. Let's go. But yeah, I, I definitely wanted to try something new because it's like, I figured everyone's going to go with the, the Orpheus. And I was like, you know what? I want to try Kef just to do melees and then yeah just play more of a support sit in the back be invisible get oversight or true sight rather <laughs> surfing my butt to orbit <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to try that surfing tech it's gonna be sick but yeah please send me that because I actually haven't used Monte Carlo in a minute too so that'd actually be a good combination to use that's just gonna give you pure melee energy. Um, out of uh, out of heavy ammo, sadly. Uh, consider trying to fit an Echo of Starvation. Okay, got you. Right behind you. Also, one thing about my setup right now is I can deal with uh, all champions. True, because it's so versatile, right? Yeah, you can deal with like overloads and then unstoppables. I'm no, I'm just saying that my my loadout right now, I I, I have all champions. Very nice. That's all we need right now, all champions. I, I, it's honestly kind of disappointing that there's only two, but it also makes it slightly easier. Hey, whichever works for you, man, as long as we can get the job done, right? No, it's like, there's only two types of champions per, like, thing or something. Oh, per run you're talking about? Uh, yeah. Or per wave, like, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah. Per enemy, it's like, there's unstop and, uh, barrier for falling or something, I don't know. I think I know you're talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it for for both uh, for both races, it's uh, they both share uh, what was it called uh, barrier. Okay. And I'm pretty sure Hive has uh, unstop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hive has unstop. Yeah, you're in. You fought well. Nothing held back. Uh, so okay, so consider. Yeah, 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 go go for your swaps. Go for your swaps. No, no, you. Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna say? No, I was just gonna read Ellie's com uh, comments again. Uh, consider trying to fit an Echo Starvation that gives you Devour and on Orb pickup. Okay, I'll have to definitely rework that into my into my build then. Is there one that you would say I take off? Like when you saw the build, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely peep the cool guy vid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I'd love to watch that for the Kefreeze tech. But considering that I've showed you, I've showed you the uh, the build, right? So uh, of what fragment do I take away? Let's say that one's already done. Elf from melee kill would probably be my swap. Okay, six thousand. I don't have enough for that. I've got thirty five hundred, so I might be the one to save. Although there is the the decoy to the far left. I got 9,000, I'm just gonna keep saving up. Okay, no worries. Uh, that fragment is a tie over from Titan. Hunter Melee doesn't have much kill pressure. 
Uh, okay. I'll go wave. I'll go wave? Okay. Yeah, I got my super ready, just in case. I need, I need heavy though, I'm very, very low on resources. So I might try and be a bit more aggressive here, just to try and gather. Oh, behind us. Behind? Okay, For gotcha. Some, uh, somehow. Oh. Oh, that was... <laughs> I just emergency oh, buttoned that. <laughs> when I also heard behind... Wave, it seems like. Okay. First of all. Yeah, when, when I heard behind us, I just popped my super out of... <laughs> out of reaction. I'm like, alright. PTSD just kicked right in there. Yeah, okay, I'm coming back to base though, because it's going to be... Uh... Yeah, we got witches on base. I throw down my blinds. Oof, I'm being slowed like crazy right now. Okay. I'm trying to heal up in the back. Oh, dang. Fine, it's fine. Yeah, that's probably the play. I could just clean up here. JD, if you can, uh. Ooh. If you can play well. Ooh, man, yeah, I got oh, cooked dang. there. I got cooked there. Ogre came in the last second. I'll reset that reset. Yeah, that, that Ogre came in the last second there. As I didn't have my double moths ready. Because I could have survived that if I had double. Uh, not sure, but it seems like his restream might have died again. He has been responding to chat and keeping on YouTube. I think I may have missed something earlier. I'll go back, uh, Gramps. I go back and read it. I may have missed a few comments earlier. You see, but I saw your comments earlier. I saw Tahirin's comments about um. Okay, so yeah, Tahirin just said he wants to show the room sometime. And then that was the last thing I saw. That was the last message I saw there, and then uh, what you just mentioned about the kick chat everything else before that was mostly on kick for me uh might synergize with monty's attack though so experiment with it and see what feels good if you're running monty maybe you could care less about the volatile uptime depends on what else you're running yeah yeah, yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna definitely test more of the void aren't these weapons gonna be craftable uh which no, one enhanceable the yeah, enhanceable yeah the, the brave yeah the brave weapons yeah, yeah, they're going to be... The enhanced perks are going to make them a little bit more viable, come final shape. Right now, they're, I mean, they're decent, but they're still good to have. But final shape will be way, way more of value. So better also, perform. for some reason, I thought that we'd be getting 100 extra of uh, flots, uh spaces in into the light, but apparently it was in, in uh, final shape. Yeah, that was my thought process too. I, I swear I heard the same thing too, Jack, when they were talking about it. Like, yeah, Into the Light is when you're going to get yeah. the, the 100, and then uh, I guess my brain so just... It makes sense. All these new uh, reprised uh, uh, Brave weapons, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Would have been perfect. Kind of, with, all the, with the new archetype, with all these new guns, with the new uh, sub... Uh, actually... Honestly, you could just store all of uh, the exo uh, exotic class items in your thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your inventory. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, I, I, I think I would need like 100, or I mean like 200 to 300 more vault spaces. Oh, 100%. For... Yeah, it's going to be a 100 more hung juries in my vault. I know, right? Good grief. Yeah. Good grief. 100 more hunteries on the wall. 100 <laughs> more hunteries on. In my vault. <laughs> yeah, to hear, and if you are still around, my brother, I, again, my apologies for not seeing that comment there. Because at times, uh, I'm reading. Coming from it, and there are. Uh, big, uh, there are. Oh, God. Yeah, the eyeballs. Hold on. I'm trying to take care of one of them. I'm a little bit... Nice. 
a little bit low on health here. I'm just trying to take care of the eye to avoid any headaches. Okay, eye is down. We're back. Another eye. We're back. We're back? Okay, hold on. Okay, where are they coming from? What choke point? Uh, left and mid. Left and mid? Okay, I got super right down here. We got one hiding up in the, in the wall. Okay, he's gone. Yeah, I got Ogres coming down mid. Unstoppable too. I'm gonna blind him. Good work, Guardian. Nice. nice. Yeah, I need heavies here. Oh, I, I appreciate that, Turin. Right. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, demos. Demos? Okay. Yeah, I, I get so caught up. Alright, I gotta back away. I'm in the worst spot possible. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna rotate around. I know you just popped a well there, oh, but I'm dang, just gonna... I try. It's, it's fine. to make it to the well, but... It's fine. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go around. I'm gonna play a different angle to try and keep the demolitionist away from... ADU. 14 seconds. Okay. Okay. The demolition should be done on the right hand side. Okay, perfect. Still one more down mid though. Should be dead though. How about a couple more nades. Nice. Good job. Actually almost dead here. Wait, what's actually here? I can't believe this hurts. I'm gonna try and knock him out here. Okay, I got him. Oh jeez. We're on red alert though, we're pretty red. Alright, now is a good time for us to actually upgrade, so I'm gonna go for oh, uh, yeah. a turret. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for decoy. I got 2260 left though, so if anyone can actually upgrade the, uh, the decoy to the left, or to the right, sorry, that'd be great. At least try and get a shacks up there or something. Okay, I got my super ready too. Uh, some what other underuse. Oh, go ahead. No, yeah. I was gonna say I'm just gonna reading Ellie's comment here. Uh, some other underused but really fun exotics for voice energy are dance pants. Uh, for infinite invisibility dodge up time. Oh yeah, 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 radiant, radiant uh, dance machines. Yeah. Mecha Nears Trick Sleeves for Devour Survivability. True. That's a good one too. Appar apparently, uh, Mecha Nears is bugged right now. And he's dealing a ton of damage. And I saw uh, a video of Forerunner one-phasing the uh, first boss of Spire. Wow. Using the Mecha Nears tech? Who is this idiot on the... There we go. It's so cool to actually see though, like, underutilized exotics being utilized. It's always a good thing to see. And as you guys already know, I, I love experimenting with those things. And then, uh, what else did you mention there, Ellie? Uh, Mecha Nearest Tricks Loose for Devour Spability when flirting with death for the crazy sidearm damage bonus. Lots of fun when you can lower your own health with Indebted. Oh yeah, because you can shoot yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep my eyes on, on base here. Just go for the batteries. I'll try and take care of the ads. Oh, uh, I was just in the middle of placing Bereft. Okay, no worries. I got my super down. About three seconds till re I can be rest. Okay, I'm gonna probably get laser beamed and he punches me. Oh my gosh. Careful there. Careful. Yeah, good good job there, yeah, yeah. Good strat. Perfect. Yeah, nice yeah. strat. Keeping him away from the I ADU. Got two seconds. Okay. Okay. Alright, yeah, that was actually really well done there, Jay. Good awareness there. Yeah, yeah, Geo. All of my attention right now is literally on what Jack's calling out. And then from time to time, the I have to look at the, the chat. The but yeah, most of my time, I'm, I'm just focusing in. 
even when I was playing with Ender, like, I was still focused in. Like, I just can't take my eyes off for too long, because if I do, it's like that one split second, as I was telling Ender, like, second meaning everything in this mode. So the one time I take my eye off to read a, a comment is the moment that I just get body slammed. <laughs> But yeah, during these times, like this, like down times, I'll, I'll definitely reach out. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm currently doing a deep cleaning. I need to delete all the armor that armor picker didn't pick. Yeah, I gotta go through and just delete a lot of my duplicates for my weapons. Because I, I tend to keep a lot of rolls. Just for comparison and obviously for review, but I gotta start getting rid of some. And solo one phases? Uh, sorry, Elia, I probably missed that on the uh, the earlier context. Oh, for Mechaneers. Oh, With, okay. Uh, for Ragnar, yeah. I, I think that's what they're talking about. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, I'm because, gonna upgrade uh, the, this deacon. The guy I watched uh, solo one phase, the first boss, Aspire, with uh, Mechaneers and, ju and just for Runner. Oh, wow. That's wild. Uh, this is what I admire about the community, though, because there, there are so many great things you can do and fully optimize and take advantage of the system. And those are, like, examples that you've just mentioned. Like, examples like that are why I, I love this game so much. Uh, I'm going to try and get... Yeah, back up here. Okay, I'm going to try and grab these, uh... ADU bats, because we might need them. You can just ignore ignore this. Okay. Uh, uh, bonus it's... objective. Yeah, splinters. I've got one of them. I'll grab the second one. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, there are a lot of knights. Yeah, I'm going to try and take care of them. Nice, good well. Try and blind here. <laughs> All I gotta say about that one is wow. You guys need heavies, by the way. There's five seconds left on the clock for it if you need it. I'll get these sky bombers. I don't know what just happened there, but literally, I don't know how we survived that. But you know what? We survived. <laughs> Not gonna question. This guy. There we go. All three are done now. I got super back, ready to go. I got you. Hey, pyramid time, boys. Let's go. Execute all targets. And make sure you're still hey, Giovanni, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. You have a good night. You take care of yourself. I'll see you again. This is going to be another farming week, so... Look forward to seeing you again. Alright. Okay. Y'all ready? Alright. Uh, also, I have uh, Noble Round Shots if you need them. Oh, with uh, Lumina? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, the call. All right, popping super in three, two, one. 
nice. That is a odd location for a well, but okay. <laughs> As long as that works, uh, I'm out of there. I'm gonna die probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Nope. Alright, we're good. Uh, Should be alright. I'm in a pretty good spot here where Ogre can't touch me. At least for now. Oh, I gotta rotate around because I can't see him. Got two more bullets in the... Okay, I'm going to be using my special here. Don't have super yet. I might have to checkpoint this, to be honest. I might have to use the, the stars. Maybe. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to back up a little bit. Play it safe. Now we got this. Nice, good job. Yeah, absolutely, Giovanni. Thank you for being here, man. Always appreciate your company. Thank you for being part of the community and part of the stream chat. I thought to myself, really appreciate you. Thank you. But no, it was you raining light on your opponent. What's the coop drop that I, I got? It. Lion Kinetic. I, mean, I already have enough coups now. I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Just keep some open space. I think Midnight Coup I'm probably gonna farm more. I mean, Midnight Coup I'm done farming, but I just want to keep farming my... I think I may have gotten a god roll almost, like a 4 out of 5. Uh, MBS Assassin with bait and switch. Ooh. And uh, Blast Radius, quick launch, but uh, no uh, thing that increases grenade damage on... I, I forgot, you know, uh, the direct impact grenades. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Let's go, Jay. Nice, good stuff. We need to convert more of YouTube chat to kick chat. Uh, yeah, I mean, kick is... Kick is a lot better in terms of uh, quality stream. You're getting 900p, 60 frames per second. Audio quality sharper. Wave. Definitely an ogre wave. Yeah. I'm gonna blind. Yeah, just play from a range. They can't bug us from uh, too too close or too far, rather. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, it's just as I spoke, got his spawn in front of me. Arco. Okay. It's fine, no problem. I'm not gonna pop my super here. I think we should. Left side, yeah. Oh. There you go. Give me one second. I'm gonna try and grab. Uh... Are you good, by the way, Jay? You good? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. I got no ammo here. I'm kind of stuck with what I've got. Careful, Jay. Careful. Yeah, I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm just gonna run up and grab some, some heavies while I have the chance. Uh, demo. Or, uh,. Not demo, I mean, uh... Eyeballs? Yeah. Yep. Eyeballs. Okay. Gotcha. Did they spawn just like the demos this day? Yeah, that's fine. I knew she meant. Oh, I just got shot in the back. There should be one guy near my corpse. No spike, which isn't the end of the world these days. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, eyes in the sky, yeah. Those eyes in the skies are definitely, they're annoying. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> usually you doing the shrieking, I know, right? It's usually us doing the screaming. Okay, I'm gonna run up and grab this. Very nice, boys, very nice. Good stuff. Very, very nice. Got another ogre up in here. Oh, I gotta back out. Uh, 
So I'm going to come cover A if possible. I'm going to try and cover the B. The B ogre over here. Otherwise our ADU will explode if we don't hurry. Okay, I'm just going to go up to you. Save my ammo. Okay, I'm defusing here. All right, boys. We need to hurry up with uh, with A. Nice, J. Uh, nice, nice, Jack. Perfect. There's, uh, okay. Yeah, I see a witch over there. There's two of them. I'll try and pop them. I'll try and grab you. Oh, you're good. You're good. I couldn't, I couldn't use my, my dodge there. Badly, I wanted to. Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to save. I have 4,300 because I want to get shacks on the right-hand side. But if one of y'all can start upgrading like this decoy. Oh, perfect. You know what? Let's just do it. Perfect. At least get a purple up. We should be all right. Uh, to our right-hand side. Uh, maybe after we get to the next, like, uh, what, once we get to round 20, I think I have to go. Oh, okay. All right. We gotta get to sleep? Yeah. Uh, school tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. Uh, so what happened today was actually it's, uh, SAT, DSAT week, and, uh, I'm a sophomore, and, uh, sophomores got off today because it was, uh, Freshman uh, PSAT day. Nice, very nice. Yeah, and always... also, uh, also 11th graders SAT day. So nice. Let's yeah. go. It's always good to have a, some time off, you know. Yep. It's always gonna remember those days back in high school, man. Anytime I got those that those days off, I would just go right to the arcades or go to Burger King, and I would just chill the f out. <laughs> I would just play all day and just drop all my quarters and tokens into the machines. Alright, you know what? It's just a plate safe. Man, I, I can't lie. This uh, arc stasis combination is something else. Just being able to free somebody and then completely obliterate them with lightning bolts is it's dopamine right there. Also, what's going on, Will? Good luck, good luck. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, grab heavy or not? Or yeah, I'm gonna grab heavy. Yeah, might as well. Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. Oops. Yeah, I'll cover right then. Good Jay. Let me know if you need help, by the way, Jack. Ooh, very nice there, Jay. <laughs> nice, Jay. It's popped off right there. Wait for, wait for Jack here. Everyone's blind. You should be good. Boom. Slam the home base, baby. A total route. You keep on spawning me to the wrong place, man. Oh, I got 2945. I'm just going to save until I get 6k. I think I'm going to spend it and just leave, uh, leave all of my scraps with you guys. And it was cool. 
All right, brother. We can get somebody else to come in right yeah. before we enter. Quick, yeah, yeah. Quick swap. Yeah, do a little quick swap. A little, little hot swapping. Yeah, if somebody wants to come through and take the spot of Jay, or Jack rather, so <laughs> you can get some... I know too many Jays now, man. I gotta, gotta be careful. Yeah, if anybody wants to come through and take Jack's spot for us during this run, that'd be appreciated. Once we get to the pyramid though, the pyramid zone. Gig once in? Alright brother, perfect. Let's go. Had an away baseball game, we did well, but ended up losing two more games to round the season out. As long as the season went well, man. As long as the season went well. What's your position, by the way? I used to play baseball, I used to be shortstop. That was my role most of the time. Shortstop or, or left field? But I'm a lefty, so... Got a witch over here. Yeah, nice and well. For once, the position did well enough. My goodness. Special ammo. I'll, I'll grab this, uh, this last one here. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Yeah, Think shortstop is proud. honestly so fun. All right, so before we before we go into the pyramid, well, uh, after we exit, we can kill the boss, but we have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we go into the mm -hmm. portal after. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I'm gonna come with y'all then. So we can kill the boss first. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, I love shortstop a lot. Just a very versatile role. You really have like the the eyes. Like you have like the hawk eyes, basically. Just so good because you can see home base. You can see pretty much anything from shortstop. Ready? Let's go in. Where's his boss at? Oh, it's the eyeball. Shrieker. Open your eyes. I'm back in the way. At least this eyeball is a, a bit easier to work with than the, uh, the ogre. Doesn't teleport. Exactly. Doesn't move around. Exactly, yep. Just stays right in place, so... My favorite boss. Guardian down. There's no way. Shot the wall. <laughs> Shot the wall. It's all good. It's happened for the best of us. I got no more. Yeah, you're pretty far away from us too. Oh my gosh, what just killed me there? Oh, the left hand burned from the acolyte on the left. Oh my goodness. Yo, what's up, Blick? Have I beaten level 50? No, today we got to level 30 on the wave for legendary. As far as normal, yeah. I've beaten I've beaten this wave 50 several times now on normal mode. How about you? Can I get a shiny though? I don't want Hungary or Recluse. Get out of here. 
right, right. GG. GG, Jack. Take care, brother. Thanks again, right. man. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day. You too, man. Take care. That's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. That the homie Gegman there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, brother. Put him in, coach. Been sitting on the bench. All right, got you on the invite. Let's go. Oh, you wanted to join? Uh, we we got the we got the spot filled now by Geg. But you've beaten level fifty on legendary. Let's go, Blake. Big ups to you, man. Accidentally uh, refused the invite. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no worries, I got you. And a uh, quick break though. While, while I invite you, I'm gonna do a quick bathroom break. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Give you give you some time to set up your your builds and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big ups to you, Blick. That's awesome, man. Shout outs to, to Blick. Emote with me before you go, just so you don't get kicked. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and send another invite. So. Uh, it says I've already sent this player an in and this invite type, so I can't. Um, open the fire team for just a second. Um, there you there go. go. I got it. Perfect. All right. So I'll be right back. I'm going to just do a dance real quick, or I'll just do my video game. So give me like a few minutes. All right, guys. I won't be too long. As long as you let the, the ads like tether then kill yeah, them. I, I was using a blinding grenade launcher. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, I'm back, boys. <laughs> Alright, so. We're busy here. Hmm? We're busy over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Having a nice relaxing time. <laughs> nice romantic dance. All right, let's go. Let's kick it. And of course, Gegman gets respawned at the wrong place. Or am I at the wrong place? Nope. Oh my gosh, I'm at the wrong place, man. What the? This game is something else. What wave is it? Like 30 or something? Oh, I, I think 20, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade this one. Boom. Perfect. Let's go, Jay. That's all we need right now. I got about 1,700 left in the pocket. But yeah, Blick, what was your strat? What did you end up using to get to 50 on Legend? Also, big shout outs to Jack for... for keeping it up and getting it this far. Appreciate him.
And also, how are you liking the mode so far there, Blick? You find it to be uh, very fun for you? Hold up. I'm gonna try and beat the eyeball if I don't. Oh my gosh. I just saw this thing in front of me. You know what? Screw it. Let's get go for the res. Need to quick swap off my weapon, by the way. Okay, I'll take care of the eyeball here. Okay, eyeball's gone. Oof. What the? Oh my gosh, of all the people. Bad intersect. Everyone that checks. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I got, we got witches over here too. I'm gonna try and get the witches away from the... Oh my gosh, I'm in the worst place. They spawn right on my body. Okay, don't come to me. I'm back in 16. You got one witch on. Yeah, one witch on base there. I'm back in a second. Okay, I'm gonna pop super here. Get him off the base. What the? Can you not spawn behind me like that? I gotta run away. Ooh. Those witches came through. Those witches literally would not stop bugging me. Plus the Tormentor. That was rough. That was rough. Yeah, 22 is what we got to. Ooh, a fresh one. It's not a big deal. I'm sure we can get to 50, no problem. Yeah, I'm curious. Don't fly in just yet. Don't fly in just yet. I want to oh. get some boots. Maybe they can help us. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else I can maybe run here. I mean, it's been working consistently. I haven't had any problems with this build. Mm, Crux probably won't be... I could do Crux for the boss battles. Nah, Crux is too risky because those things move around. Yeah, I think we're okay with this. Uh, so you... Okay. Uh, you get enough action to stay busy. I was long and lanky and always got put in the out outfield. All that was quite young, though. Yeah, because because uh, one of the things for me that I loved about playing baseball, at least back then, was because of my my slim build, playing the shortstop and playing like left field was fine because I had more agility. So I can chase down can chase down fly balls or chase down any any hits down the field. But it makes sense though why you'd be put on the outfield. But lighter lighter players tend to be better in the outfield since you can just chase after all those pop fly balls while the more heavier, more sturdier peeps they want to be on the bases. Oh, we got this one. Where are we now? Okay. All right, so yeah, I guess same strat. Just keep saving, right?
would you say wave 10 we start saving up to or wave 12 what do you think i think 20 was good i don't know yeah whatever 20 okay i guess it all depends what we're what we're dealing with yeah if we get the tormentor early that's good yeah exactly deal with it early and get out of the way because that run where we got the tormentor out of the way fast that was actually our best run that was our way of 30 run, I think. Yeah. Yeah, to here, and if you're still there, I don't know how late you'll be up. Uh, but if, if we don't get to this today, to the uh, location today. I'll prioritize you tomorrow on stream. Like when I first start, you can just drop in and then you can show me. But I'm not too sure how late it's going to be for you now. But I need to be considerate too of everyone's time. Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? I'll just grab the batteries. Maybe he's on base too. Good work, Guardian. Your light is strong. Nice. Okay, I'll, I'll be with you, Jay. I'll cover with this uh, ogre. Once I'm done, uh, I'll go back to secure base. Alright, you can handle that one. Yep, perfect timing. Okay, I'm gonna go back to secure A though. I got the mine, just the antlers. Perfect. Okay, I'm coming back around. Got super on base. Nice, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab my hammer. Grab the, the yeah. yeah, I'm gonna grab heavy now, just to be safe. Mm -hmm. Gonna run around here and see if there's anything drops. No. Also, once again, I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you all for chilling out and lurking you are all very appreciated thank you once again my sincere apologies if I don't get to messages right away I don't do it with any mm -hmm. malicious intent Super ready again. Uh, they're coming from the left. Two ogres over there. I'm gonna pop super, block them off. And they're all dead. They can't come through. Ogres to the left, to the right. Oof! I can go away here. Oh, you good? Yeah, I just tried to get the others. 
Okay, no worries. I'm gonna try and blind the ogre over here. We got one battery. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go, go, go through the gates here. I have enough potential. heavy for myself. Make me proud. Oh, I missed my bullet there. Guardian down. Okay, I'll go ahead while you guys take care of that. Excellent. Hey, Hawthorne, thanks for that follow. Wait a minute. Hawthorne. That sounds kind of familiar. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoy your stay. And we still have our heavies. Good to go. Uh, I am sitting on 6,500, so I'm going to start stacking on stacks now. Stacking on shacks on the right hand side. I got them on purple on the right. Good, Jay? Let's go. Oh, we got eyeballs. Of course. I'm shoot those guys first. Oh. Hopefully, you enjoy the stream today, uh, Hawthorne. Again, a pleasure to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right now, I'm just really zoned in on on this onslaught here. Okay, I'm just gonna taking a risk here. I'm just gonna go off off level here. Okay, never mind. I'm full. Again, okay, coming back. Coming back. Oh, good. Super here. On that nice. One. Well fought. Uh, I'll cover the the, the right hand side here with uh, the triangle with the star. Oh, this there's an, yeah, there's an ogre on my side, so try and knock it out. Oh, sky bomb yeah, this guy bomb is in. No, I wasted my super. What a. That was the worst throw ever in history. The worst throw in the history of all Destiny 2.
really struggled for my life there. What a waste. With seconds on the clock, can he make it to the last shot? Oh, it's in. He makes it. He makes the shot. Oh. Alright, let's go. Of pure combat potential. Oh yeah. Make me last proud. time. Just fix something. Yeah, go for it. And now, now is the perfect time to do any fixing. Is this mech? Oh, uh, it's wizard. Yeah, wizard. <laughs> Behind this wall here. Uh, I'm sending the star here. I'm gonna call reinforcements. Oh no, dude. Okay, just let me know when you need an invite. The first time in a while. Yeah. You should be alright for now, though. Yeah, actually, my, my game crashed this morning as I was logging into the game. I was literally talking to Gramps, and then the game just kicked me for no reason. keep my scrap yeah that would be actually amazing if you could i think you probably should though because you'll, you'll just rejoin right so hopefully that is the case Of, I'm out of special ammo too. I might have to put a little bit more up close and personal here. Actually, no, I'm not going to take too many I'm risks. Just... Oh, yeah, where you are? Yeah, I'll try to make my way around you. Hold on. Yeah, it's a smart move there. Well, the turrets are actually cooking for us right now. Holy moly. The, the turrets are actually doing the work. <laughs> the turrets actually just knocked them out. All right, before we go in, before yeah, we'll we go through, him. yeah, we'll get them back. Everything dies, but when you're around, it happens so much faster. Let's go. Perfect timing. Good hold there, Jay. Good hold. Good defense there. <laughs> Let's just hope uh, the homie gag keeps all the scraps. We'll go to the front one. Look at what the front one looks like. Like a the, back. the one at the back is the lazy one. Yeah, the lazy one. <laughs> I gotta get more of these emotes, man. 
Ooh, auto loading and recombination. That's actually one of the roads I wanted. Up. Give me a sec. Let me take this auto loading and rec recombination. Uh, and Dim is being super slow though. One second. Come on, Dim. Why are you so behind? I just want to move my item. Okay, you know what? We'll do it afterwards. It's no biggie. I just wanted to... I was just curious can, to see. You can do it. Just... You, you can do it. All right, I'm going to take two minutes. Just right. uh, close Dim and then reopen it. It should fix it. Okay, right. yeah, you're probably right. So close, reopen tab. See. No, it still didn't fix it. Still delayed. Oh, you don't have the dim app? No, you know I'm it has an app for two, right? Yeah. At the moment, I actually don't have my phone set up. I'm actually phoneless. I don't have a plan yet. Aren't you on your PC though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the PC. That's what I mean. Like, you just go to the Microsoft yeah. Store and download Dim. It's in there. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, damn, I didn't know that. I thought it was, like, through the phone. No, I meant, like, a computer app. Oh, true. Okay. Okay, I'll do it afterwards. I'll do it off stream. Yeah, it's, uh, that one's a lot better than the website one. The website went super slow. Okay, thanks for reminding me, I appreciate that. Yeah, I used to use the website one too, but I just use, like, just to get, like, builds from other people. That's what the website one's good for. Yeah, it's super slow, man, so I'll definitely use that from now on. I'll download it. It shouldn't be that big of a land download, right? No. Oh my gosh, they, they keep on spawning me at like literally halfway across the map. It wastes so much time too because I literally have to like take seconds to get over there. Um, I'm gonna save maybe. Actually, hold up. I got a purple for decoy. Okay, where are they coming from? Left or right? Left. Ain't no way. I can stay off. You guys cover the front, I'm covering the back end. Quick swap. Oh no, what the? Come on, man. There we go.
That was a close call there. What the? Oh my gosh. On my tail. I got no heavy either, that's not good. Alright, trying to lead him away from the... Trying to get him away from the uh, ADU. There we go, yeah, I'll walk him away. Hopefully, he'll take my lead. We have to kill all the ads. There's too many ads here. Got him. Oh my god. That was a, too close for comfort there. Crash again? Yeah. Oh my god. What the? Did you lose your scrap the first time? No, I didn't. <laughs> well, let me collect all this heavy ammo while I have the chance. I invite him quickly before the round starts. Yeah, I'm gonna invite him right now. Uh, where's... Well, I purchased this shot. Okay. Invite. Okay. About the 80 Perfect. Okay, I'll cover the left over here or the right rather sorry I mean if the invite went through there uh, okay One more time, just in case. Where are they at? They're all coming from where Dax is. Okay, gotcha. They got shacks. Look at that. Call me shacks is. Do what he needs to do. bro careful I'm pretty low on health though nice let's go perfect timing too for the pyramid execute all targets all right. and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles Cover left. Left is done. I'm gonna cover right. Nice. Okay. Right behind you.
Careful though, careful. Very nice. Still made it, oh yeah, that was a good slide into home base there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what do you call that in baseball? Uh, home yeah, home run. Yeah, sliding into home base, home run. I got forty five hundred now. Uh, I guess we can. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. I always need 6k, right? Oh, let's go. Jay's been saving up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll save my 4k up, then I won't touch anything. I'm done though now. I have nothing. That's fine, no problem. Shax is pretty much all we need at this point, to be honest. Holy moly. Actually nuts. It's like... Oh, what the? Someone just stabbed me. Yeah, careful, careful, careful. Play for your life here. Nice. That was an unfortunate you demise on my. Hmm? I'll get there, man. You get it. You get it. Yeah, I'll cover base here. I'll cover base. Saboteurs all over the place. Grabbing heavies. Oh. Okay. Yep. Somebody stay at the base, though. There's yeah, I am. Ads. Yeah, I'm staying at base. Got block away. The witches are coming after me. Okay, I'm definitely dying. Oh, the witches are coming through. There's two witches. Two witches yeah. coming to base from where I am. One more witch ahead of you, uh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Good sacrifice there at least. I'm trying not to waste that sacrifice. Ooh. Oh, no oh, that was unfortunate. That that tormentor definitely, when it comes to the witches, it's tough. Yeah. It's yeah, easier than the in the beginning. Yeah, I think if we had the tormentor like pre level 10, like we did before, it would have been a cruise. Because those witches with the tormentor being annoying can be a headache. Yeah, the shields for the witches become a lot stronger. Yeah, absolutely. That's what, that's what makes them so tanky. Exactly. And then on top of that, there's like four of them. <laughs> so, we'll call it a day for now. It is 1 p.m. for me. It's almost been six hours for me, so... That'll be the last for today, but tomorrow we'll play more again. So if y'all are down again to run Legends, let me know. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Jeez, guys. GG's man. GG's. GG's. Good stuff. Good runs. Good stuff. Dude. I'll catch y'all in the next one, alright? Yeah. Alright, see ya. Alright, take it easy. Alright, folks. It's been a long one. But I'm gonna call it a day.
I think the, the furthest we got today was was uh, level 30. Wave 30 was the highest we got today on Legend. So, yeah, we're going to head off for now. I'm I'm definitely... I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry and my eyes are starting to glaze. So, I know that once my eyes start to feel that, that glaze feel, I got to take a break. So, yeah, 30 in Legend was really, really solid. So, shoutouts to, to Jay and Ender for holding it down. Shoutouts to Jack for holding it down. And, of course, the homie Gagman coming through. Holding it down. Hey, thanks, Hawthorne. Appreciate you. Nice try. You'll get it next time. Absolutely, absolutely. I appreciate you. Love the positivity there. Love that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. I think, honestly, the only thing that killed us on the, the level 30 run, or wave 30 run, was just... Uh, I think there's just too many witches that came all at once. And just overwhelmed us right toward the very end. But we literally, we literally like passed it. Like we got to phase 30, but we just didn't have enough time to to recuperate on the ADU. Yeah, yeah. The witch and the witch tormentor combo is definitely a rough, rough one. Like it's e like either or is fine. If we get a wave of witches, I'm okay. And then we, if we just have one tormentor, like pre pre wave 20, we should be good, like easily. So we'll come back tomorrow. It's no problem. I think today was pretty good nevertheless. Overall, I think I got some pretty good rolls on my pretty good rolls on my mountaintop and on my mount my midnight coup. So I should be pretty happy. Or I mean should be. I am pretty happy. Not even a should. So overall, pretty solid day. Can't even complain. Exactly, yeah. It's always a tormentor. Always. If we had if we had cleared the tormentor early, like I said, that would have been an easy ride. Easy ride. With the way that we were playing today, like we were locked in. There was there was no way. Like in my mind, I, I felt 50. I felt 50. There was no way would we would have gotten cooked. But it's all good. We'll come back again tomorrow. This build right now, though, the one that I currently have is really solid. So I, I can't complain. This this build has been carrying me through most of the runs. Moth Keepers is just so good to just blind everything, preventing, stalling, then cryostesia just to freeze everything. More stalls, indebted with this. Indebted is indebted. And then Hullabaloo just comes through. This thing is my all-time favorite grenade launcher now. This thing just destroys ads all over the place. As I always say, trust me with anything but a Tormentor. <laughs> Yeah, Tormentors are literally, literally wild. If you don't do it, I'll help you. Absolutely, Blick. Yeah, yeah, come through tomorrow. I'll be doing more runs. And so, uh, first thing, though, I have to prioritize Tahirin because Tahirin wanted to show me uh, a quick little, quick little thing for Lightfall. And then once that's done, we can start hopping into our, our Onslaught runs. And so, yeah, if... If you're down to do it, Blick, by all means, pop in, brother. And we'll run Legend. I'm going to try making a good War Banner t build for Titan. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, what, whatever you're using today, Jay, it was popping off. But if you feel if you feel like you need to do a War Banner build for Titan, then go for it. If it makes If it makes you feel more confident and provides more stability, then definitely... I'm trying to just think what else I can add to this if I wanted to make it a little bit more precise. Mm, like I think I think Doom's been holding it down. I just realized I have permeability on this thing too, so I can actually just swap over to to arc, and this becomes an arc. I think it'd be better because Banner of War benefits us all. All right, yeah. Definitely run it then. Definitely run it. I'm totally down for that. Totally down. Whatever can help us to get to wave 40 or beyond, which should be good. Because like I said, I, I feel super confident that we can get it. It wasn't so much about our, our builds. It was just more about the unfortunate 
circumstance of having both tormentors and witches spawning on us. Because other than that, I, we were cruising. We were like literally on cruise control. So, that being said, I am going to call it a day. I'm going to go get my food. I'm very, very hungry now. My mouth is parched. And I'm going to go get some vitamin D because the sun is still shining out here. So, until next time, Hawthorne, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome to the stream. Hope you had a good time watching. And, yeah. As always, as I say, new warriors, stay strong, keep fighting, and may the force be with you all always all right i'll see you again tomorrow bright and early 7 30 around 7 30 a.m jst my time and for y'all on the east coast it's around 6 30 ish p.m so until then have a good one rest well everyone i love you see you soon peace